We finally did it. Oh my god. That is the most time I've ever spent on a single stage in a video game. Too close. See? And when you take corners, it doesn't actually... It doesn't calculate um, in terms of road distance. It, it's just like a one-to-one, -one, so it goes diagonally. So a lot of times the game thinks you're closer than you actually are. Yeah, trying to do these follow missions with these city blocks is... Uh, not Did the first one come out 98 or 99? I forget if it was a year or two between releases. Bring on a little lead for We're losing. Oh, shit, I keep reading it the wrong way. Okay, I need to accelerate more there. The meter goes the one way. No, this has two discs. How long is it? Uh, so there's four cities. Make like blue with the trouble. And we're in the second city. I'm assuming we're toward the end of the second city. I'm assuming those two. Yeah, I don't think this is on how long to beat. Okay, well. Well, if it isn't Miss Zocontail. Hey, Jazz. Marsley told me to meet you here at the weapons depot to explain the new rabbit weapons policy. How you doing? <laughs> Hirefs have decided to cut costs by having field agents purchase their own weapons and ammo? Uh-huh. You'll find that they left a little money to get you going. I'm not seeing green. Oh, shit. It's in the grass. Dude, the color of the grass and the butterfly was the exact same shade. Let's go somewhere new and look for more butterflies. No, one was... Oh, my God. butterflies are hiding here. We didn't need more of this. There's another one. You're doing great. Only three. Yeah, straight up. I uh, I think this was designed to break controllers. I'm almost convinced. It has to be. I'm right there. No. Of course we'd bump on it. Of course we'd bump on it. Please hit him. He's he's past the finish line. If you're not first, you're last. Yeah, in this game, apparently. Jesus Christ. The military arms depot was raided two days ago, and the thief was caught on camera. Code name their talent. Pass the link. Yeah, but unfortunately, very few people actually click the link as opposed to just follow the raid. I mean, we can. That'll probably help at least a little bit, but. Kusanagi to control. We've ID'd the target and we're in pursuit. We are monitoring by satellite. Enemy speed is 40 knots. Chief, can we get C police back? Raids on mobile sometimes switch to. Dang it! I could I could give shit to Nintendo. I just tried something last night. I'm really bummed out, but um, uh, that's not exactly praising Nintendo, would it? Yo, Nate with the raid. Thank you, Nate. Well, yeah, there's also the deal of, like, people can counteract, right? Like, people could subtract all the time that, that Dio added. So, yeah, it's like, well, do I... <laughs> I'm dying. I'm actually, I'm actually dying. <laughs> when does it end? <laughs> That's okay. That is not what I thought when when they said caress. That was not what I expected from the word caress, but okay. Jesus. Almost tempted to play through it. Yeah, see, I love games like that, that are short, that encourage replaying. Oh, we're so dead. <laughs> well, damn it. That didn't go too hot. I'm sorry for some of the flashing there. For making this horrid piece of software. Oh, 
All right. Seven sins. Know what game you'll be adding back to the? I think I'm gonna have to ban that game. It's the executives, not the dead. Everyone involved. Monte Cristo Multimedia. In this third-person game, you interact with other characters that gain their confidence. <laughs> Wait, what? How do you unlock medium? Yo, what up, all? <laughs> How are we doing tonight? How's it going, Ninja? Kreb, welcome in. Ramen. Blue. Epic. Not Sume. Welcome in. Yeah, we're doing some Action 52. This is what happens when I choose games last minute, guys. This is, this is what happens. This is what happens when I don't have anything lined up. So, uh, this is what we're getting tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this. Am I, I'm, am I gonna enjoy this? I don't know. We're gonna try it, though. It's honestly not that bad on Genesis. I was gonna say, the... Really, the infamous version of Action 52 is the, the NES version. I honestly don't know how this is gonna compare. But... I figured dumb jank video games, fuck it, why not? Let's just do it. Let's do it. Mansta, thank you for the raid. <laughs> How's it going? How is the stream? Since Crash Bash has one left, does that mean somebody has the card already? No, I I set I set a couple legendary cards to limited editions last night. Meaning there's only one to begin with. So nobody has it. I actually checked. Hey there, Riley. Who did this to me? I did, because I'm a masochist, apparently. <laughs> Ultimate Muscle did- I think part of- I think part of the blame for this game is on Ultimate Muscle last night. We'll see. It's intervention time. I mean, that's- that's start playing the game first before we judge it. How about that? 100% gonna regret it. We'll see. We'll see. Nobody willingly gets up, gets out of bed, decides, I wanna be sad with myself. Y'all are- y'all are really smack-talking this game. Watch it be fun. Watch it be fun. It's not too late turn back. Watch this be- watch me enjoy this. Y'all- all y'all are gonna- you're gonna regret what you said. I mean, obviously we gotta keep Cheetah Men for last, right? Look at this- this menu's actually not bad. We're eight minutes in, get we well eight minutes in. That's eight minutes of stream. I just start I've really just started stream. I'ma watch something you devolve into mad Wow Kreb. Fucking haters. <laughs> I swear. Despite it being action 52, a majority are puzzle games. God, can we give it like what happened to giving games a chance? Isn't that like the mission statement of my channel? What happened to that? <laughs> hey there, white guy. Mexican pizza. And I, I had. I actually had talk about today. I had the. I had the toasted cheddar chalupa box. So I'm happy. Maybe that's part of why I'm willing to take a chance on this because I actually had finally had Taco Bell. Many things games are all right, just boring. I, let's not use the word boring just yet. All right? Can I? Can I decide for myself here? Level one. Let's try some of this. Is this straight up? What is this? This is like a weird breakout. Doesn't answer the question. What, you're saying I should do a Mexican pizza night? I know, I know. The level was too easy, apparently. We just keep bumping back and forth. Is there any other kind of control here? I think this is literally it. So we're gonna break all the green ones, is that? <laughs> I'll see about Mexican pizza. I don't know, again, I've, I've said this on stream before, I don't love eating on stream. Oh, and then we changed the color of the ball, okay. This isn't too bad. Level one. Need a Taco Bell stream where I try a bunch of items and just give it over with. I probably should at some point. Probably should. This actually isn't a little a bad little puzzle game. I am a little curious to see what the harder difficulties are like. I'm waiting for that sponsorship. <laughs> Taco Bell needs to get on that. Level 
Wait, did I fail? What? Oh, and now we get rid of these. I was like, we, we cleared everything out. Come on, game. Gotta love the image of the pharaoh in the back. What do they call it when you get Stockholm Syndrome, but with games? I think it's still Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Just Y'all are so quick to judge. I bet nobody here has actually played Action 52. And I'm like, okay, that's... How about we try this for ourselves and see how it goes? Everybody immediately wants to hate on it. Imagine if every game that we've like heard bad things about, we've just automatically hated. Played Action 52. Let me, you've played the NES version, man, so I can almost guarantee. My donate button should lead straight to a gift certificate webpage for Taco Bell. <laughs> Again, I don't know if I need more of an excuse than I already have to go get Taco Bell more than I already do. There's like keys as well? I don't know, this doesn't seem bad. I'm like actually kind of vibing with this. Only played Cheetah Men and Ooze. This goes for money? Of course, it's Action 52. Anyway, they're blast, though. Farsight Studios. The CEO, Jay... Is that Ober Nolte? Is a congressman in California's 8th district. Go from CEO of Action 52. The freaking congressman. Amazing. Okay, so that turns us... That turns us yellow, and then now I can grab keys? I presume? Yes. There we go. Making gains. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like this. It's not bad. It's certainly nothing to write home about, but as a first game on Action 52, not terrible. He was a mayor at one point. I just wonder, like, how your life pans out to end up taking that path. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what has to happen for that chain of events to occur? You know what I mean? Yeah, the music's good. Again, it's like... I remember when I used to play absolute bottom of the barrel shit and people wouldn't come in and like immediately hate on it. And I know this game has a reputation, but like, let's give it a chance. That's all I'm asking. I think I just game overed. <laughs> Shoot. Action 52. It's just like, it, it feels like one of those things that like people love to meme on without even like giving it a, a second thought. I'm like, come on, guys. Well, that was bonkers. That was all right. I kind of dug that, actually. I think we'll just sample each one and call it a day. Cascade Cassette 50. Cascade Cassette 50. That does sound like it would be worse. As well as don't play. What is don't play this? Don't play this. That just makes me want to play it. Dark Sign. Good old Active Enterprise. I think Active Enterprise is... I think technically every game's supposed to be original. But, as we all know, many of these games ripped off other things. I don't know, this seems kind of hype. I can get into this. Five of the worst games by Firebird. Who's Firebird? Yeah, it's like asteroids, but with like a... Like a, um... Kind of a base destruction slant. I kind of dig it. Better than what you opened the stream with yesterday. Yeah, Seven Sins was, um... Yeah, sorry, y'all were hyped over Seven Sins. I'd argue this is better. 
least so far. At least this wasn't. At least this isn't actively offensive. Mark Stephen Miller and Jason Jason Schur of New Romantic Production composed the music for the Genesis version in 48 hours. What for this game? Let me try that again. Seven Sins was hilarious, but again, it was like borderline actively offensive and not very well made. Still want more Seven Sins. I, I don't know what you'd have to do to get me to play that again. There's not much. There's not much that would get me to play that again. Sorry. God damn, it's very hard. I was having an easier time last time. Level one. Twenty-five dollars is not enough. <laughs> I don't think any amount of money is gonna be enough for me to play more Seven Sins. I like to think of Action 52 as a Flash Games website and a cartridge, which is exactly what I was in the mood for tonight. Oh, great. I had the shield the first time, of course. Level $50 Taco Bell gift card. You drive a hard bargain. Why can I? I'm going right through it. <laughs> I can't grab it. One. Come on, you. I I don't know why I suddenly can't grab the shield. <laughs> I was grabbing it before. Why is it not grabbing? Level one. Maybe do I already have it? Is it a There we go. Okay. Progress. So you have to like activate the shield with a button before you grab it, if that makes any sense. Okay, <laughs> we got through the first one. Level two. Oh, we got. Okay, wait. I thought I was gonna auto scroll for a second. I'm like, oh, that's no good. Holy shit. And we game over it again. Damn, I actually like kind of want to get good at this one. Just even just a little bit. Level one. Yo, hey there, Terrania. Welcome in. How's it going? Oh, Who Man is back. Welcome in. Welcome to Action 52 on Genesis. Level complete. Okay. Got that one. Level two. Full lives. I, I noticed I blew up like right after we got it finished. But luckily the game did not kill us. Ruby Gloom. I have no idea what that is. Shoot. Level two. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Level two. Action 52, the Dark Souls. Of game compilations. Holy moly. Level two. Anyway, hey there, horse. I fear watching this stream may cause... I was gonna say cause what? Enjoyment. How dare. Holy moly, it is so hard to control this. Fuck, I died on level two. That's where we're at. Horse with the ripstick. I did have talk about. Actually, I do have some Dragon's Paradise still. The new brisk flavor. Actually, very good. Okay, I'm trying this one again. Never played. A I've played Asteroids. I have played it. Clearly, not enough. The problem is Asteroids has a much larger playfield. 
and the screen you can go off screen right and you come out the other end this all these maps have fucking death barriers Ober Nolte, the dude who ported this in government now, opposed increases in minimum wage. Yeah, that's not, that's not very cool. Jesus. The game testers need Taco Bell as well. Had a McDouble from McDonald's. Let's go. Oh my god. Dude, I don't think I'm going to get past level two. Yo, hey there, chivalry. How's it going? Been reconsidering where you want to move to? It was Indianapolis, now it's Canada. You want to move to Canada? Well, there's a couple Canadians in here. I'm sure they can give you some uh, insights. I can't with this game. Holy shit. I was hoping to at least get past level two, but I'm not sure that's gonna happen. There's just too many things to hit. I'm gonna try one more time. Level one. I do dig the first level. Just avoid Tim Hortons. They steal your data. <laughs> Is there actually like some... Some truth to that? Their free Wi-Fi is data mining. Level BC one. equals bring cash. <laughs> There you go. Level. They just got chastised by the privacy commissioner for illegally uh, surveillancing everybody using GPS functionality on the app. Ooh. Yeah, it's no good. Yeah, dude, this game... Okay, this level drags you down. That's why this is fucking with me. It's like there's gravity in space. What the fuck? <laughs> no wonder I'm struggling. Yeah, that makes us a little broken. Yeah, that makes us impossible. Alright, we're done with that one. <laughs> we tried that one. Try Dino Tennis. Oh yeah, this this looks more at my speed. Or maybe not. How do I swing here? Wait a minute, am, am I orange? Is this two player only? Oh shit. Damn it, a game I was excited to try. Yeah, I'm going to win by default because it's a two-player game. <laughs> oh, wait, we actually got served at? Shoot, I'm starting to lose. <laughs> Damn it. I wanted to play this. Did they really not program AI for this? That's disappointing. This looked fun. Be away there, Prism. How are you? I'm so... I mean, I guess I won. I'm bummed out. I wanted to play that. So I guess the blue ones are two-player only. Yo, hey there, Jorge. How's it going? Programming? Who said they needed to do that? Yeah, AI takes too much. Too much to program. Why am I doing this retro? This is what happens when I don't have anything lined up. I just said, screw it. Let's try this. It was sitting, it was sitting in my, my Genesis files, and I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> I got nothing better to do. Let's try Ooze. This looks promising. Level one. Get five lives. Ooze is uncontrollable on NES. Here it's a pretty good side scroller. I was gonna say, this looks good so far. Can I just let... Uh, can I throw up roulette and let fate decide? Um, no, because there's too many fighting games. Level one. 
After last night, after last couple f nights, I, I I just like can't do fighting games right now. Shit. <laughs> Level one. Hey there, Monica. The real what is the real ooze game on Genesis? What? There's fall damage. Level one. Wow. Do we have a shoot button? Level one. So there's fall damage. I can't. There is. Okay, we got a laser. <laughs> okay, the ooze. I think I'm vaguely. Okay, we got the key. What? <laughs> oh man. Okay. Mecca's, yeah, Mecca's Canadian, Sinful's Canadian, Theo's Canadian, Mance is Canadian, a lot of Canadians. Do I miss Af- I don't think I can miss Afghanistan, considering I've never been there. They snuck a Morbius cameo into the Bob's Burgers movie? Did they really? I've not seen it yet. Level one. What was that? I don't know what the baby crawling was for. No clue. Okay, let's try and give this a legit effort here. Can I jump over here? Oh, we fall through the tube. Okay. Good to know. I just noticed the key on the right. I'm like, are we going to need that? Jump too far. This is this is certainly a game. Okay, got the key. My guess now is we're gonna go up the right hand side and get the other key. At least you land when you die from fall damage, you don't die in midair. I mean, yeah, there's at least some form of hit collision detection happening here. Level one. <laughs> what a game. Do we still have the key? Right, we haven't game over, so we should still have the key. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the friggin' pipe in the way. Am I gonna be able to make any kind of significant progress in any of these games? What? I jumped! Yeah, definitely the, the soundtrack does remind me of Toe Jam and Earl, which is a good thing. If you can compare it favorably to a game like that, you're probably doing at least something right. Alright, one more attempt on this. Level one. Let's try and make it at least somewhat far here. Or anything past the first screen. I cannot shoot in midair, which is unfortunate. There we go. What? How many keys do we need? What in the jank? <laughs> Disappointed this isn't part of the snood universe. Same here, Prism. Same here. I'm shocked that wasn't fall damage. <laughs> Level one. <laughs> that pipe is just right in our way. Because of course, why wouldn't it be? Wait for the monster to pass. I <laughs> I swear to God, I'm pressing the jump button. I swear on Trashy's life that I pressed the jump button there. There we go. Okay, now can I drop down safely? My guess is no. 
I have to like awkward. Oh man. That's how they want you doing this? That's rough. Go! Damn it! Why can we not get through there? <laughs> baby, maybe I need to baby crawl through the tube. Maybe that's what it is. We're never gonna, I don't know if we will. There's a very good version, there's a very good chance we won't. In the NES version of Ooze, there was a contest with a cash prize of 10k. Where we beat the game first. And phone in the code on the screen. Problem was the game was unbeatable. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this kind of feels unbeatable. This one's probably less broken than the NES version, but not by much. Level one. Okay. I'm sorry, I just have to see if I can get past this screen. ROM hack to fix it. Yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think there's much fixing to be done here. You have to be able to tell what's broken to be able to fix it. Cleaning your shower, Rata. I'm afraid that's not my area of expertise. Yo, hey there. What? <laughs> hey there, Ruffian. The Genesis doesn't deserve this. Well, I'm playing it anyway. The Genesis will have to deal with it. This game full of space, uh, space shmups like the NES. I'm sure it is. We already played one. Okay, finally got that jump. What killed me there? Level one. Oh, it trades shmups for a puzzle game. We're gonna get way more puzzle games in this one. Oh my, I'm just touching the, barely touching the edge and it's crushing it. Okay, yeah, we're done with the ooze. Jesus. Let's try Starball. <laughs> Level one. Alfred in the Fedic in, Alfred in the Fedic? Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> like pinball Jorge? I kind of like pinball too. I'm not quite sure what happened there though. You know there are good games on the Genesis 2. You make it sound like I don't know that. <laughs> I feel like everybody's missing the point right now. Man, they really drew that one out. This company went on to make really good pinball games, did they actually? I was gonna say, this doesn't seem bad. It's, um, there's a couple, there's a couple hiccups here and there, but on the whole. Maybe I misspoke. <laughs> the original Action 52 team is gone. No, what? Couldn't be. Level one. Okay, here we go. Actually getting a little bit done here. Dang it, and then we land in the corner again. Level one. 1300 points though, we're doing something. Oh yeah, I mean the AVGN review of the NES version is classic. 
<laughs> Yo, Franny, how's it going? We'll never see the long-awaited Action 53. Or Actions 1 through 51, unfortunately. How's it going, Franny? Okay, got a decent bit of score there. This doesn't seem too bad. Something seems off. I'm enjoying it for how stupid it is, alright? We're fine. Let me enjoy my dumb jank. That's all I ask. My goal is going to be to get to five digits, if possible. Yeah, no enjoyment allowed. Who wants to enjoy video games? That is an unheard of concept. <laughs> Every reason why not. Sil Silo, you too. Damn it, Silo. I thought somebody was going to have my back. You know it's bad when Silo saying a game's not fun. <laughs> I think I just won the game. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and you guys said this game wasn't fun. Liars, all of you, the whole bunch. That was amazing. Okay, I'm doing a little bit more of Starball. Level one. Just here for Cheetah Men. I'm sure many of you are. We will get to Cheetah Men. Don't you worry. The unreleased ad? What did they do? Like a. Was it a print ad or a. Uh, like a commercial? They're also Cheetah Girls. Not on Genesis as far as I'm aware. Sorry to disappoint. A TV ad. Oh man. I want to see if I can get that glitch again. That was amazing. So the ball, like, for anybody that missed it, the ball, like, glitched into the side of the map and then, like, came out the other side of the screen. Was Ashley Tisdale... Ashley at Tisdale was not a cheetah girl, but, yeah, no, she was... She was... She was part of the Disney Channel kind of exclusive club for a while. Yeah, Raven was one. I don't honestly remember the names of the others. Raven was like the main cheetah girl. I feel like the ball was in an alternate universe or different screens as it phased through all that stuff. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah, it, like the right hand side of the screen, it was like struggling to get through the wall. And then and then when it spawned in on the left, it just like immediately flew out. A interesting observation. Cheetah Girls was based off a of book. I've heard that. Obviously never read the book. <laughs> Come on. Level. Two lives left. I want to see if we can get the, the five digits here. We're at 6,500. I should be able to make it to 10K at least. <laughs> Yo, hey, there goes. The apex of J. Honestly, this isn't even that bad. I've played far buggier games. It's just everybody knows about this one. 
Dang it. 7,600. 24, can I get 2,400? This is better than Kiss. It is. I wholly agree, Silo. Kiss Pinball sucks. This is actually more fun. Yo, hey there, Dio. Oh, God. Kiss Pinball actually, I think, might be the worst pinball game I've ever played. Not that I've played a ton of them, but I've played a handful in that. Oh, look at that. Kiss Psycho Circus, I have not. I don't even remember what kind of game is that supposed to be. You hate the most out of ever any game ever, Silo. Oh, we're stuck back in. 10k, let's go. We got the great glitch. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Best game on here so far. Best game on here so far. That was great. It's an FPS. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to have that in me. All right. Starball. Actually pretty fun. Let's try Sidewinder. Oh, this looks like it could be fun. Level one. A kiss FPS. What the fuck were they thinking? Work a total of six hours next week, Dio. That's unfortunate. Yeah, wait, there's 60. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Genesis Action 52. You don't play as Kiss either, just some random dude. So what's the point of the Kiss license? Want to vomit? Yeah, I gotta say the um, the bottom terrain is not great. These honestly look, these look closer to eight bit than sixteen bit, <laughs> which I guess is fair because I think the NES version most of those games looked far worse than the best that eight bit had to offer. So it's like it's like they finally learned how to make a proper eight bit game and they threw it onto a sixteen bit system. Well, that's part of the weird thing. Yeah, is Kiss was so good about marketing with, like, toys and merchandise. And then it's like they could never get the games right. They could never get the games right. Don't play as Aerosmith and Revolution X. But, yeah, they show up. We got level one done. There we go. Level. Yeah, the white outline around the sprite. <laughs> when you badly color key uh, an image. Looks like 3D World Runner. Yeah, it looks like 3D World War Runner or um, like Space Harrier. Or like a really budget afterburner. But yeah, at least in Revolution X, they appear. I don't know. I, does Kiss, I guess Kiss must appear in, in that FPS. Bizarre soft spot for pinball machines with toilets in them. <laughs> Toilets, the cornerstone of any pinball table. Space Har Harrier actually looks like hell to play. They, they're pretty tough. They're definitely tough. I've tried a little bit of... I think I played every level of Space Harrier too, but I couldn't do it like in a couple credits. I had to level select. I don't know, Revolution X is pretty good. I I need to throw that on again and try and beat it again. I actually really enjoy that game. Oh yeah, Austin Powers Pinball is... It's bad, but it's not as bad as... Kiss Pinball. Even though I think they're by the same devs. But Austin Powers is like okay at best. Kiss is Kiss Pinball is legitimately terrible. These damn missiles. 
It's crazy how bad video game pinball can be, right? You think it would be so simple, but I think a lot of it has to do with really bad physics. If the game's physics are bad, it makes it just like wholly unfun to play. I mean, you can also you can also just really phone it in on the tables as well. Yeah, and, and like all those pinball games that they released only have like two tables. So it's like, what, you play it for like 10 minutes, you've seen it already. Austin Powers trading card game. But it's exclusively based on the second film and nothing else. Amazing. This Kiss, uh, yeah, that's the other thing too. They don't even license the Kiss music. So there's no reason for it to be associated with that brand because it doesn't even have their music. Forgot the most important part. No, this is another one of those games that's like, it functions. I wouldn't call it good, but it does function. Kiss makes music? Dude, I saw, like, don't they, they have, like, they have some weird fucking merch. Like, I think they have, like, all the band members is, like, these, like, duck figurines, and I'm just like, why do these, why do some of these things exist? Yeah, we made a Kiss game, but we don't have rights to their music. I think they use, like, some of their likenesses in the game, but none of the music. It just, it made no sense. Well, that's the weird thing, right? It's like, okay, that's fine. If you're protective of the music, you know, it is what it is. But you'd think with a band like Kiss, if they're protective of the music, don't you think they'd be protective of the image as well? But it's like, clearly they at least allowed their image and their likenesses to be used. It's just one of those weird things. Slash work directly with Data East when making the Guns N' Roses pinball. That's actually pretty sick. Missiles are definitely moving a little faster here. There is nothing Kiss won't slap their name on. Yeah, I bet with, actually, I bet with Pinball, it was probably an issue of the record label not wanting to put the music in, if I had to guess, right? Because Kiss probably has full ownership of their image, but I'm guessing they probably have to work in cahoots with the record label to actually get songs licensed. So maybe that was part of it. Anti with the ripstick guys. I did have Taco Bell today, and I've got my Dragon's Paradise, which kicks ass. Level one. Okay, let's jump back in. I still think Star Ball is the best so far. Sidewinder was acceptable. Daytona, straight up ripping off Sega. Let's see if it's anywhere near the level of Daytona. Oh man. Wait, how do I move? <laughs> oh shit. This is not the Daytona I was thinking of. Do we have to shift gear? Oh, there we go. Jesus. Yo, hey there, Darf. How's it going? I've betrayed the sacred name of Baja Blast. I'm sorry, the Dragon's Paradise is too good. Wow, epilepsy. This looks amazing. Amazing's a word. I'm not sure it's the word I'd use. Oh my god. I'm actually okay with the game except for the flashing that happens when you uh when you hit someone. I'm all right with everything else. You know what? I, I oh man. I need to play I need to play um the 3DO demo disc for you guys again. I streamed that forever ago and there's a game on there called um oh it's some racing game. Fuck, what was the name for it? Road Race. Road race and the car models look exactly like this. 
They're like weird pixelated just JPEGs. <laughs> Yo, hey there, Rick. How's it going? Dear Lord. This is worse than NES racing. It is. No, it legit is. Yeah, no, this is definitely one of the worst ones so far. This might be the worst game of the bunch that we've played. Does it feel like I'm going 140? Not even, not even close. Uh, we're at, apparently going 200 right now. Standing 14. Uh, that can't be great. <laughs> Let's try this again. Yeah, I don't know who in their right mind thought it was okay to like flash red on screen like that. Too good not to comment on. It's good seeing you, Rick. Why do we get to drive a cool sports car, but the other drivers have Fords from the 1930s? That is a very good question. I guess the player gets the advantage. Oh my, that red flashing actually, like... That legit turns us from a bad game to a terrible game. <laughs> it's like all it takes. It's like you're in the sports car. Yeah, this is this is the epitome of the mom mom says we have it at home. I I can't. I'm stuck. It's an out of body experience, truly. I wonder how bad we have to do for the game to force us to stop. Like what is the threshold? Oh my god. Okay, B is break. It's so awkward. So I'm holding I'm holding the controller like this. Cause I have to shift up and down with A. So I've got this like weird bear claw grip. What's the jankiest game I've played? Uh this might be it. <laughs> I don't know, I've played some whack video games in my time. It's hard to give, it's hard to give, like, a definite answer on what's the worst. Because I'm always finding, like, the next worst, you know what I mean? This isn't even Outrun at home, it's a punishment. <laughs> this has been mom doesn't take away your video, she takes all of them away except for this one. It's like, son, you're getting Action 52. This is 52 jank-ass games, hard to beat. I mean, I'd argue not all of these are that bad. Come on, Starball was kind of fun. There's some okay ones in here. The problem is they're okay at best. That is the issue. Starball sounds like... It kind of does sound like a drug. Dude, this game might just let me keep playing regardless of how bad I'm doing. We may have to give up on this one. God, there's so many cars on the screen. Come on, let me squeeze in. <laughs> We've hit the caravan. I must be doing better. We hit the caravan. Yeah, true system pusher right here. Next gen graphics. I think a lot of li I think yeah, I think a lot of licensed games come down to being rushed. Yeah, no, I think there's a lot of that, unfortunately. Okay, I feel like I actually did well there. I think we actually did all right. We got seventh. I'll take that. This game's just gonna keep going, isn't it? Oh yeah, usually they're tossed to random developers. Only way I could do better is using the reset button. I haven't heard that one before, Mansta. Like how it's a racing game with no positions on screen and no timer. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea how well you're doing. 
You just you have to be first. That way you don't have to worry about it. How do you even win this? I honestly don't know. Honestly, I have no clue. Cheetah Girls have three games. I knew they had one on GBA. I didn't know they had two others, though. I'm assuming there's a DS one, if I had to assume. Maybe a Wii one? Spent way too much money to outbid for this. Now we have no money <laughs> to make it. Oh, two DS games. Going whole hog on DS. I The thing is, I don't know. If, can I quit out? I might have to reset the game to get out of this one. I'm like actually trapped in this game. The only way to win is to quit. And the thing is, it's like the one game so far, I don't know how we quit. <laughs> Other than probably resetting the console. Because like I press pause, all it does is pause the game. No menu. Raven wasn't in one of the... That is true. Yeah, Raven like dipped out after... Are there three Cheetah Girls movies? I think I think she got too big for the rest of them at a certain point. Level Standing 23, that was rough. Um, yeah, I think I have to reset the console. Oh, wait, there we go. We beat the game. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. That was Daytona. 15 puzzle. What is this? Level 1. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> no. I already don't like the look of this. How do I play this? It's just gonna beep at me. Oh, I have to. Okay, I see. Okay. Uh, where is. Six is way over. Hey, it's Final Fantasy. Yeah, these can be kind of tough. Like, legit, these can be kind of tough. Like, these don't mess around. Okay, we gotta get eight over. <laughs> Shit. Uh, damn it. How am I going to do this? <laughs> I think I messed this up already. Um. Great stuff, I know. It's still doable. I assume it is. No, this is... How do I get... Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> God damn it. I think I just swapped the 11 out for the 14. I think that's all I just did right here. Oh, I hate this. We might be here a while. I'll be lucky to get one of these done. There we go. Okay. Okay. Progress. This is a game, all right. There we go. Interesting background music. Yeah, a little interesting. A tad odd. Uh, we're actually like decently close-ish. Used to do these all the time as a kid. Yeah, I never, I never got into these, which is probably showing right now. Damn. 
Damn. We'll do one of these and then I'll move on because I don't want to bore everyone here with this. Um. Fuck it, I don't, like, don't want to move the nine out of the way. This came included. Yeah, this is this is this is a game you'd play on your PC, like a free game on your PC for sure, or your Mac. It's like a bonus with the operating system. Ah, uh, so close yet so far. No, that's, that ain't it. <laughs> very valid games like chess, but your dog crap. It. Yeah, my patience is very, very low for these kind of games. Admittedly. Okay, we've got 10, 11, 12. Yeah, having the backwards order. Hold on. Here, this is even worse than the NES version, Al. I don't know, I've heard both ways. I've heard this is far better, and I've heard it's... I heard Cheetahmen specifically is worse. I think the rest of it's better. For the multi-finder, the Mac could only run one program at a time, and you'd have to quit back to the finder. Oh, really? I'm so damn I was gonna... Oh, there's a time limit? Oh, fuck. I didn't notice. <laughs> Dang it. Can rotate them in circles. Yeah, I was sort of starting to figure it out. Just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of it now. Wait, it's the wrong way though. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> the ultimate backseating game. Legit. Why am I having such a time with this? Like, it's one of those things you look at and you're like, this should not be that hard, but it actually, like, legit is. Okay, how do I get the freaking nine out of here? I tried putting the numbers in the right order. I'm working on it, Anthe. Jesus, I need to get the nine out. See, the thing is when you rotate them in a circular fashion, the order swaps. That probably only sort of made sense, but I think I think you catch my drift. Yeah, see now two is gonna be way over on the other side. Oh my god! <laughs> Ever play Simon? I have played a little bit of Simon. Oh my god, this is driving me nuts. <laughs> I'm not even salty, it's just like, I've never been good at these. Why does this make you anxious? How do you think I feel? <laughs> if you're anxious. How do you think I feel? Can I start over? I, I know I'm already gonna run out of time. Just want to rip the pieces? Yes. It's like when you take a Rubik's cube and you just peel the you peel the stickers off and put them back on. <laughs> Same thing. I 
I'm just like, I, I don't know how I do this without messing up the rest, you know? Wait, I think I got it. Oh, there it is. Okay. I need to be using the whole board. Okay. This is starting to make a little more sense. Okay, I need to get the seven in. Ah, damn it. I'm getting closer. Six, seven, come on. Now I'm gonna lose it again. I'm sort of starting to get the hang of it, just slightly. I've still got some work to do. Tunnel vision, yes. Yes, because you don't, like, don't want to mess up the rest of it. There we go. Yeah, tunnel vision is the best word for this. Because you feel like you're messing up the rest of the board. When in reality, you're actually making it better. Oh man, we actually got close here. The ultimate challenge. I think I could do this. One more attempt, I think I got it. I played Cheetah Men. I'm waiting on Cheetah Men. Cheetah Men's probably gonna be our, our big finale. Probably save that for last. Okay, I'm gonna try that one more time. De I love Devil Dice. Devil Dice is great. And Devil Dice I'm actually kinda good at, as opposed to this. We'll try one more time, hopefully get it. See, I'm already doing better. Look at that, already have first two rows done. The apex, well, we'll see, we'll see. Should give you less time? They probably mix up the board more, I would assume. Dang it. See, I don't want to move the nine is the problem. Uh, I think I might have to, though. I'm gonna have to. Move the nine. Yeah, see, it's me not wanting to screw up what's already in place, and it's actually making things worse. Dang it, 12's not in the right spot now. But we're close. I think. We have like most of our time left. If I can just figure this shit out. Yeah, we'll want to introduce the 12 there. Oh my, no, it's backwards. Yeah, we have it. It's at 10, 9, 11 right now. Fuck. Nope. Don't move that. Okay, I need to get... Dang it, the 14's there. How the fuck do I get the 10 in between the 9 and 11? Uh... Yeah, that's what's breaking me right now. We're so close. I 
Need to move the se do I need to move the second row? Is that a necessity? Might be. Shit, I'm so close. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. I'm so close, but so far. Oh my god. <laughs> it's It's, uh, I'm like, on what, on the last, like, six here, and I can't get it? Makers of Action 52 were definitely disturbed people. No, you're just trying to make a quick buck. American Dream. Shit, I'm so close. Yeah, I don't think I got it. <laughs> I don't know what I need to move to actually get this shit in order is the problem. Yeah, cause see, these are backwards. Yeah, I'm just- I'm- the problem is I'm not seeing it, Mansta. <laughs> I don't know what I need to be doing to get it in order. Ah, oh, this sucks. I was so close. 10, 11. 12. Damn it. Thirteen. Oh, man. <laughs> Killing me. Alright, one more time. One more attempt. I don't think I'm gonna get this, but I just want to give it a shot. I want to say I tried. I feel like I'm already doing worse. <laughs> it's, it's it's one of those things where like the more you think about it, the worse you do. Like the harder you try, the worse you're probably gonna end up. And you get this 14 out of here. And these are all in reverse now. Okay, first row's done. <laughs> Gamer PTSD. Wouldn't blame you. Okay, good. Top two rows are already done. Kyle, one question why. Let me have this. <laughs> Tired of getting questioned. Let me enjoy my dumb game. Okay, 9, 10, 11, we're close. Eleven, twelve. Ever played a slide puzzle? Sound of helicopters slowly fades in. CCR. There you go. Okay. Oh my god. Twelve. 
12, 13. Oh my god, we're actually close. 15 and 14 are botched. Um, I'm actually not quite sure how I'm gonna get that fit in. Time for dinner prism, no worries. I don't know if I have it, these are backwards. Oh wait, there we go. Almost? No, I've just messed up the rest of it. Now the nine's out of place. Undo that. <laughs> How many steps back do I need to go? We're like basically there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, how do I get the nine out? I know, I know I'm close. Oh. Okay, we're gonna get the nine there. So glad you're not the one playing this. I can't, yeah, the way the nine is, I can't get it around. Oh my God, we have 50 seconds. I don't think I've got it. I can get it up there. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to be kidding me, dude. Nah, we don't have it. Okay, we're not going to bother with that anymore. <laughs> Wait, shit, we have a life left. All right, I lied. One more. I thought I had it. I think it's my unwillingness to change the top rows once I have them. Like, I don't want to screw with them. But I think we might have to. Okay, top two rows already done. See, like, I can get it toward the beginning. The problem is after that. It's once we get down to these two rows that I'd like start to panic. Dude, look at how close we are. We're one off. We need to get the 15 to the other side. Now, how do I do this realistically without messing everything else up? Like, I'm basically already there. I just, like, getting this one tile moved is gonna ruin the rest of the puzzle. You do the thing. Thank you, Ramen. Indeed. I'm thinking if I can just get the 15 in order. Get away the retros then. Anonymous cheer. Thank you for the 15 bits. Okay, 15's down there. It's going all right. I'm somewhat losing my mind to this. We're so close. Yeah, see, no, I'm just, I just moved everything. We're so close. We need to get these in order and the 15, the 15's in the wrong spot. I'm literally a tile away from beating this. <laughs> Look at this shit. 
so how do I get the 15 moved? Hold on, what if I go like... Oh, this might totally screw things up. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I might undo that. Oh, I have to do like the whole thing in a big circle? Like the entire puzzle except for one? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I, at this point, this is the point where you just want to, like, grab the 15 and move it to the... Like, you just want to, like, have it like this, right? And then just, like, move the 15 to the other side. If only. I'm trying to be smart about this, but, like, I... I don't... Like, I legitimately don't know how I'm gonna do this. It's It's breaking my brain. Like, to be so close yet so far away at the same time, just like honestly hurts. If somebody sees it, let me know. Like, I'm like, I'm trying to comprehend how I'm gonna do this. I've got a minute, is that a minute 25? To figure out how to move one fucking tile. What if I move them? Can't phone a chat. I hope I didn't totally just mess this up. I think I did. <laughs> I think I just totally fucked it up. I most definitely messed this up just now. Dude, my brain can't comprehend this bullshit. I mean, good news is I've got almost all the rest of it back. <laughs> 10 seconds, it's over. Okay, I give up. I don't have the brain capacity for this, clearly. Screw slider puzzles. We tried. We tried. That was 15 puzzle. What the hell is sketch? Literally just... How do I reset? Can I erase? Is this the erase button? It's not erasing though. Worst puzzles ever created. Right? Video games legit. I'm sure I'm sure there are people watching that are like, I could have done that. I'm like, okay, good for you. I just my brain can't comprehend it. And I don't think I'm dumb. I just don't think. I don't think I have that kind of puzzle solving brain. Yo, they're funny cat. What? I kind of want to just reset. Okay, start gets you out of it. There's no erase. What kind of sketch program doesn't have an erase function? Nailed it. <laughs> Ron with the quote. Well, we can look at Star Duel. This is a, um, Level one. this is gonna be another two player game. This is just that other game we played, but with a two player Level mode. Two. Hey, look, I won. Oh, we got auto scroller. Level 
Yeah, 999 fuel. You got enough fuel there, I don't know. This would be kind of a fun two-player game, though. You know, on the NES, or like... Honestly, more the Atari 2600, but... This is just kind of space combat, but... Level five. They were killing it. Uh, there's probably only ten levels. So I'll just repeatedly kill <laughs> this dude. Nailing it. Level seven. Yeah, because I think the tennis one stopped after like... I think it stopped after 10 levels. Level eight. Freaking Room Zoom. That is legit the worst OG Xbox game I've played. I don't know, that and um, Aquaman. Those are the two worst. Just absolutely horrendous games. I think I won. <laughs> I think that's it. And I'm pretty good, right? Not to not to brag or anything. Star duel. What is Haunted Hill? Dude, we're only on eleven. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit. Okay, we've got an attack button, we've got a jump button. Why does this actually look okay? <laughs> the bat got us. It's a uh, it's dime store ghosts and goblins. Yeah, right? Like this actually looks decent. Well, now I'm going to be watching out for the bat. The greatest horror game ever made, Haunted Hills. Dude, and then, what are the odds that, like, when I actually get up there, the bat comes in? Is it spawning in when I go far right enough? <laughs> Level one. Good game, no flaws. Okay, we got it. Got the rat. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, at least it wasn't a bat that time. No, I can't. I can't duck. <laughs> what do you do there? I don't think I can attack the bat either. This one seems not bad. I've played worse. Let me try that one more time. We'll give this one a little bit more time since it's actually like, okay, it's actually a video game. Speedrun strats. Oh, did you see that? Right on the edge. <laughs> it. Yeah, the fall physics are a bit much. Level one. But I can kind of get down with this. <laughs> Holy shit. Level like how the new standard is of okay is actually a video game. I mean, that's where we're at. It's action 52. I don't know what else you expect. Dang it, I tried to get I tried to get my attack in on that. Tried to be Level a sneaky one. little bastard. Didn't quite work. Okay, I can kill the bat. It's confirmed now. Extensively playtested. I mean this feels more playtested than a lot of them. What? Oh, I hit early. 
Gotta go to bed, Auntie. No worries. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. I'm hoping, at least on this one, I hope I, I can bet, get past the first screen. That's my goal here. Okay, we got him. Rat, don't kill me. Rat, don't kill me. Rat, don't kill me. I mean, that's it? <laughs> Go to bed, Epic. Have a good one. Thanks for being here. Oh, do I have- I have to get all the diamonds? I hit too early. I probably have to get all those little diamond shards. Shit. Okay. Now that I know what the goal is. We're, uh, Simon Belmont if he was Pac-Man. Just get past the first screen. Forget we the, we keep bumping there. Okay. That. This jumping should be fun. <laughs> right? This can only go well. This game actually controls decent. Not bad. Looks like I, it does look like a Commodore game. <laughs> no! <laughs> I think it keeps track of the diamonds we've gotten though. So I shouldn't have to go down there again. No, it resets. And I missed one over by the tree anyway. <laughs> of course. Drop down there. We'll get there. It's all it's all learning process. Oh man, that was close. Okay, so we've got all the all the diamonds. Okay, there's no bat, right? I just gotta worry about the rat. which conveniently moves like freakishly fast. And every time this cycle happens, he's like at our end. Cause that's helpful. I actually don't know how I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> I jumped too early. How did I do it before? One. I got past him before. Oh, jump with the first one instead and then across, right? Yeah, that's definitely gonna be the play. Oh, and I was missing one over here, too. I hit too early. <laughs> this hit detection. Oh, Christ almighty. There we go. Okay, we're learning. Nice, okay. Looking okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> you bounce at the top. Level one. What the fuck? That is so unfair. Yeah, so that that method doesn't work. Unfortunately. Wow. Wow. 
One more attempt, one more attempt. That is absurd. Level one. Yeah, the problem is you just like, when you go to jump, you just bop your head on stuff. I'm gonna have to go up and get the last... This one on the left here. Okay, we got all of them down here. Pro play. I'm assuming this is what ends the level, I don't actually know. I'm just kind of assuming at this point. Okay, so I don't trust the game now. Dude, I don't know how I'm gonna get this. The way this cycle of this rat works, like, I feel like I'm just gonna get hit as soon as I jump up. Oh my god, we actually got it. Okay, there's just one, there's one more. <laughs> I hate these rats, they move too fast. Honestly, for a game like this, they move too quickly. <laughs> Come on, I had the level done. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Yeah, I'm getting this level over with, and then we're moving on. This is absurd. Forgot I bumped on that. Yeah, we gotta make it the level two. I've, I've worked too hard at this first level. We gotta make it the level two. I don't know if we'll get it. The one hit deaths make this a little difficult. Just a tad difficult. And like, I'm really trying, it, honestly, it's this rat up here. It's, well, it's, it's all the rats really, but. Specifically this one. It just like wants me dead for whatever reason. And when I get him, I, I just feel lucky more than anything. Yes, okay. Yes. Is the level done? I got all the little collectibles. Isn't that it? Did I miss one? Did I miss the middle one? I probably missed the middle one up here. Did I? Oh, I did. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the hardest I've had to work to beat a first level. Progress. Thank you for the GGs. That was way harder than it needed to be. Probably like much of this cartridge.
Oh, the scrolling is not helping me out. I know this dude's gonna come back for me. Can we not kill him? Is he undefeatable? Level two. He might be. This dude's too good for us. <laughs> I gotta test this theory. Yeah, maybe. Can we go that way? Yeah, no, we can't kill him. Okay, he's not defeatable. Level two. Well, that's kind of BS. So we're just gonna move this way then. And hope there's no diamonds over there. Oh, we got fireballs. <laughs> and I hit too early. We got gargoyles shooting fireballs. Alright, well that was Haunted Hills. I at least got through the first stage. What, is, what the hell is Alfredo? Level one. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Am I collecting the tomatoes? <laughs> one. Are we supposed to be uh, dodging them or collecting Level them? Because I can dodge all day long. I think we dodge. Why would we dodge them? Level one. He's holding a pot out. So we're just dodging. That seems counterproductive. Supposedly Alfredo's what Alfred and the Fedic would be if it actually booted. The sauce for pasta incorporating butter, cream, garlic, and parmesan. Oh. So we want to collect all the Alfredo shit without collecting the tomatoes. Oh, okay. That makes a little more sense. That's why the tomatoes were killing us. <laughs> okay. We figured it out. And I'm assuming at a certain point, we collect enough and the level's gonna change. I mean, you don't get much more simple than this kind of game. Level. There we go. Yeah, that's literally it. Okay. Level Fair enough. Two. I was like, why are the tomatoes killing us? Right. Alfredo doesn't have tomato in it. Or meat. Typically. Unless it's chicken. Well, that's Alfredo. Like I said, I think I'm gonna save Cheetahmen. Ah, uh, and this is some kind of strategy game called Skirmish. Developed by Far good old Farsight Technologies. Only the dead have seen the end of war. General Douglas MacArthur. What a quote. Like making Alfredo with chicken and sausage. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, we grabbed some sausage and they were like, nah. I'm like, I don't know, Alfredo with some sausage, I think would be good. Campaign, uh, you know, this is probably not gonna be my kind of game. Let's try Dave's Folly, it looks like a bunch of lava. I can kinda, I can kinda vibe with that. And this is only two player. So, screw that. <laughs> That's not happening. That could that could be okay if you're in the strategy style game. I'm sure there's far better strategy games, but... That looked like it would have been semi-competent. Depth charge. Level one. These graphics, I gotta say, look like some of the best yet. Not saying they look great for Genesis standards, but they don't look bad. Level one. Games a lot with the sorry I'm I'm taking the jank too far. Everybody's judging me for playing this. <laughs> Can't I just vibe with some jank? Is that too much to ask? How's it going, games a lot? Oh wait, we're actually playing. I thought this was a cutscene, it looked so good. Oh shit. Oh yo, this one's actually kinda good. 
Isn't that, you know that's bad when I literally thought this was a cutscene. Like, oh shoot, we're actually playing. Yeah, no, this one's actually good. It's simple, but it's fun. Just dropping bombs on submarines. What did we do to deserve this? Nothing. Y'all acting like you, you're, you're being held against your will. <laughs> Drama queens. Don't know why I'm putting off Cheetah Men. I'm not putting it off. I'm saving the best for last. Best looking 7800 game you've ever seen. Yeah, it does kind of have a 7800 look to it, doesn't it? That's pretty accurate. I wonder if this actually was. It almost makes you wonder, like, was this just like a ripped game? They like straight up steal this. I like the music's good, visuals are good. Yeah, gameplay's simple, but I don't know, I kind of dig it for what it is. It does feel like an Atari game, though. What the hell? Damn, that was loud. That was that was quite the stream loose emote. I swear, I'm like, I don't know, are they gonna get crazy? Like, every time I think they won't be able to get crazier, they end up actually getting crazier. Pretty good looking for it. Okay, come on. Tiger games suck legitimate ass. This is decent. Bonus stages from Jaw. I could see that, Chazzy. How's it going, by the way? Good seeing you, man. She Man's unbeatable because it's glitch. Is the Genesis version unbeatable? I know the NES one is. Blasto with the 10 packs. <laughs> Thank you so much, Blasto. Hopefully get some of the new cards. There's like, between the last couple days, I've added like 10 new cards. So hopefully you get a new one or two. Kyle just trying to make 3DO look like the PS5. <laughs> Come on, this is a cool game. I'm digging it. If you get Bash Crash, gotta use it. That's gonna be a hard card to pull. That I set it to like, within Legendary, it's the hardest to pull. It's like the most rare. It's, it's literally the rarest of the rare. I don't know exactly what the odds are, but it's small. I'll just say that. Gaming Quiz Blasto, all right. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ask a random trivia question. Nobody else chime in, this is specifically for Blasto. If Blasto either doesn't know the answer or gets it wrong, then I will allow others to take a crack at it. Blasto, I'm gonna ask you. This is your question. You'll have you'll have 10 seconds to answer, and I'm we're using the honor system here. Don't look up, don't look this up on the internet, you know. In all fairness. But the question is: what what month and year did the 3DO launch? in North America. 10 seconds. Level two. Don't look it up. Even end stream is earlier. And honestly, the end stream is probably easier to pull, yeah. April of 93, damn, you had the year. You had the year, but you didn't have the month. I'm sorry, Blast, though. Does anybody know? I'll give you guys 10 more seconds. Anybody in chat is, is able to answer and I'll give you a, a free pack for it. That was a good guess though, Blasto. October. Yeah, Nate got it. October 93. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give Blasto a pack anyway, because he got the he got the year right. That was that was like a double team effort, Blasto and Nate. Level four. 
Yeah, because I, I just realized it made it made your answer like you had half the answer there. <laughs> yeah, consoles typically come out around Christmas time or a little, usually a little earlier. Okay, Blast, I got yours. And Nate. There you go, guys. Can you see Kyle playing an MMO? I can't see myself playing an MMO. <laughs> so I think that answers that question. Okay. Depth charge. I would argue, I'm gonna write some of the better ones down. So far, I really liked Starball. I should make I should make a note of this. Okay, we're gonna have best and worst. I'd say so far Starball was pretty good. Starball, Haunted Hill. And Depth Charge was so far my favorite by far. Tier list for this game, Matt. We're working toward it. What, you want me to rank every game in it? I don't know about that. Has the jank broken me yet? No, I'm trying to convince chat this game's not that bad and nobody's believing me. Yo, know, hey there, Dino. Okay, we got Mind's Eye next. Oh wait, I was gonna say which ones were worst. Um, Daytona by far. Daytona was terrible. Dino Tennis I would have liked had I played it with somebody else. Blaston wants another one. Okay. Uh, what else can I ask? I'm just like coming up with these off the top of my head, so... Um... Alright, Blasto. Who was responsible? What was, what was the development studio behind Downhill Domination on the PS2? Who developed Downhill Domination on PS2? I'll give you 10 seconds. Did you miss Cheetah Men? Not yet. <laughs> I'm saving Cheetah Men for later. Incog, there you go, Blasto. GG's on that. Maybe that one's a, a little too easy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I just figured it'd be fun. I'll just pull quite, you know, uh, hopefully I can keep pulling them off the top of my head. If, if we run out, I'll, I may have to look some up, but... Almost said single track, which would like sort of be correct, but technically incorrect. Since I think a lot of the development, a lot of the, a lot of the, the members moved, but. Probably gonna have to remind, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to remind people not to say it. Yeah, for that, that gaming quiz card and the person that plays it gets first dibs. If they get it wrong, oh, this is literally Minesweeper. I mean, I do like Minesweeper. Single track is Twisted Metal, yes. Can we get a Kickstarter for Action 53 Fox? How's it going, man? Oh, wait, those were guesses? Okay, you can mark with flags. I mean, I do love Minesweeper. Although playing it on a Genesis is a little awkward. That could be a flag, but I don't know if it is for sure. Dude, I haven't played Minesweeper in so long. And unfortunately, it doesn't really, like, clear out the area for you. Kind of having to do this manually. Action 53 is just... Yeah, they're just gonna tack one more game on. Yeah, right. I am shocked I haven't hit a bomb yet. Charge $400 for it, there you go.
There we go, we hit one. <laughs> oh, it's literally called Mind's Eye. Action 51, the prequel. I thought... Hold on a minute. I think in regular Minesweeper, right? Am I forgetting? So wait, okay, wait, that's right. These, we actually are clearing these when we hit them. Action 62 or 63. Yeah, at least get like 10 more, right? Only seems fair. Okay, so I see, we get guess, okay. So C actually clears it, A is our, our guesses. And then B flags them. Okay, so I wasted all my flat or my guesses right at the beginning. So let's try and clear all this out. I'm starting to get this. Action 69. What will they come up with next? Just guess on that one. So that wasted a guess right there. Yo, hey there, flip flop. Yep, this is literally Genesis Minesweeper. <laughs> Wasting guesses. Bold of me to hit some of these. So for anybody that's never played Minesweeper, the number on the square means all adjacent squares. It means there's only one. So this one might be a bomb. Okay, so that one definitely is a bomb. Which now means this one can't be. Nor this one. You haven't played Minesweeper in so long. That was a lucky guess. Okay. Um, it could be either one of these two. Let's guess that one. Okay, so again, it's... What? Oh, shit. I meant to press B on that. <laughs> I had the right idea. Before founding Electronic Arts, what company did Trip Hawken... Do you mean before founding the 3DO company? Or did he also... I, I wasn't aware that he co-founded EA. Obviously, I know he founded the 3DO company. If they added this to the NES online server, what Action 50? I don't think Nintendo's ever going to do that. Something tells me. Damn, the random luck. <laughs> Blasto He did found I didn't know that honestly I know I know he worked high up at that company But I didn't know he helped found it Yeah no this would be too jank for Nintendo Terrible game. I don't know. I'm enjoying it, but I also didn't have to pay like insane money for it So take that how you will Okay, we still have all our guesses I'm gonna guess on that one. So that's not it Do I know I don't blast so I honestly don't Oh, shoot. Well, then. So that's definitely a bomb there. I'm out of guesses already. This is not good. 
He worked for Apple. I did not know that. Blast to learn to me a thing or two. Okay, so this one has to be a bomb. Which means this one it won't be. Nor this one. I'm out of guesses. Shoot. Oh, okay. Alright, that one's definitely a bomb. Which means none of these are. This is a yikes. Oh my god, the guessing going on. Uh, okay, this one has to be a bomb. This one can't be. And it's either this one or this one. I literally have a 50-50 chance. No, wait. No, it's the it's the bottom one. There we go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I proved that I know how to play Minesweeper. I don't think we'll bother with more of this. There you go. There's Mine's Eye. Straight up just Minesweeper. Yeah, but AVGN has torn up games that... That don't necessarily deserve it. In this case, most likely, yeah, it deserves it. But come on, there there have been some AVGN episodes where they, they kind of stretch for it. They kind of stretch. Such as... Um, well, they did a whole 3DO episode. And there's plenty of fine games on the 3DO. Hey, come on, it's it's designed to be entertainment. He He's... he's He's, he's, you know, he's overdoing it on purpose. I know, I, I don't remember exact NES. Oh, I think the Jaws NES game is fine. He did a video on that. It's not an amazing game, but it's not the horrid game he makes it out to be. I mean, there's just, there's, there's certain games he covers that he goes extra hard on, on purpose to make it funny, which is okay, but it, that's what's happening. Windows one seems to be easier since it empties out the zero ones. Out. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, right when you click once in Windows Minesweeper, it'll clear a large area out. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, a lot of the times AVGN chooses games that honestly deserve it, but I'd I'd argue every now and again he picks one that is maybe a mediocre game that he turns into like a trash game, you know? Which is fine. Again, it's all for entertainment, but. You just have to keep that in mind. A lot. Of, I've just noticed a lot of people like to immediately hate on games that the AVGN has covered. When it's like, well, have you played said game? Have you tried it yourself? And it's like a lot of people typically haven't. Okay, this is just a shooter. I kind of like the sprite work. Yeah, no, the 3DO got screwed over because of the price. That was literally it. It was literally it really was the business model they were going for which I liked the uh, the concept of They were essentially trying to do like You know kind of how kind of how movie standards work is where you you come up with the format and then you license out that format to others Yo Mikey with the raid How's it going Mikey? Thank you for the raid. How was Assuming you were working on full auto or excuse me, test drive unlimited. What I meant to say. <laughs> We're just playing some action 52. Area 51. Wait, which version of Area 51? Yeah, there's there's a PS1 like arcade port, and then there's the Xbox PS2 kind of generation version that's it's like an FPS. Yeah, I got my racing games confused there for a sec, Level Mikey. One. Test drive was going well. Glad to hear it. Yeah, for whatever reason, I decided to throw this on. I don't know if this was a good idea. I'm honestly not hating it. I've kind of liked some of the games on here. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> enjoying Action 52. I think I'm liking it more than pretty much anybody watching it. I'm enjoying it for what it is. If I enjoy this kind of simplicity, well, the thing is, when so many people are outspoken about how they don't enjoy it, you know, I'm not sure how much further I'm gonna dive. Yo, hey, there's sins. I mean, that's why I don't do more Atari streams, just because, like, I think they're too simple for a lot of people to want to watch. Chat hates that I don't care about you. I mean, ultimately, what? I'm supposed to play what I enjoy, right? That's that's the whole idea here. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of games that y'all would want me to play that I probably wouldn't like. <laughs> Goes both ways. Does this ever end? The new API. Yeah, Mikey's playing the new API. Okay, I think we just have like a couple guys left here. Oh, we got hit. Shit. We game over? Alien attack? I was hoping to at least get through one level. Dude, we're already two hours in on him on what? 17? I think I need to be making slightly quicker progress. Let me try this one one more time, though. Level one. What type of camera was used in the development of the Neverhood? Type of camera? I mean, obviously they were using stop motion animation, uh, but I don't know the specific model of camera. This is not gonna be a two-nighter. <laughs> I've heard enough whining tonight that I'll probably make it a one-nighter. We won't come back to this. This is, this is a one and done kind of deal. Minolta digital camera. See, I never would have known that. Figured I'd do two nights just to spite you all. Is this really that bad to watch? The other's so dramatic. Like, goddamn. If I didn't know any better, I think you're all actors. Acting genius. <laughs> if only we were paid actors. <laughs> Fucking money, dude. The bane of everyone's existence. Yeah, making a bearable stream out of something that apparently drives everyone nuts. 12 nighter. I mean, we're already almost 20 games in. This game just a survival. I I was thinking the game's eventually gonna end. Cause like every other game that says it does have levels. I mean, there is a difference between, like, making fun of something and, like, literally it just coming off as smack talk. <laughs> it's uncreative smack talk. Level one. There is a line there. Amazing, too. Honestly, the music's not bad. I'm digging it. I crossed the line. Right. Shit. Level one. Yeah, see, it says we're on level one. So I don't know. Is this level supposed to end? We're fighting Space Shreks and Medusa. Yeah, apparently we're, we're fighting Space Shrek. We got Medusa. We got the dude from King of 
What was it? King of the Monsters? The Bloodsucker dude? Kyle being wholesome while chat shits on the game. I don't know when that turn happened. Again, like, it, it's funny in small bursts, but, like, after a while, it just kind of gets grating. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little old. I'm like, the, literally the whole point of this channel is to try things that other people wouldn't bother trying. Oh, wait, we can... Okay, fair enough. I literally didn't try this. That's why we weren't making any progress. That explains a lot. I was like, the same enemies were spawning. Sitting here waiting for Snood. We'll see if Snood makes an appearance. I don't know, it depends on how long it takes us to get through all this. Oh my god, <laughs> it's that easy. Parallax scrolling? Is there parallax scrolling going on? It's- okay, yeah, I guess there's two la- there's two layers, isn't there? It's got at least two layers. I mean, I will say though, if you tried to beat all these games... Like, again, I'm not- I'm not necessarily defending the game, but like, you'd have a lot of content here. It's not good content, but long box showcase. Do I have funny Gex long box? I wish I did. I got a new one though um, that I opened off stream because I was just too excited and uh, didn't have time to open it the other night. Uh, but this is the newest edition. All right, this is another example of a game I really liked that chat was just kind of like meh about. I thought this game was great, though. And that is... Soccer Kid. This appeared on eBay. I sent, like, a super lowball offer, and I actually got it. <laughs> so, uh... I liked this game so much. I liked this game so much, I played it for nine hours straight. I beat it twice. Same sitting. Um, and this is a gorgeous condition copy of it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Really nice shape. Put it- I, I stole this box protector from another game. Actually, what, what did I take it off of? Oh yeah, my, my Guardian War. I had to steal a box protector. I only have a couple box protectors. I'm like, this is- this is worth it. Yeah, I thought this game was excellent. I didn't- this is the most fun I've had with a platformer in a long time. So I really liked it. Highly recommend it. It's on multiple platforms. I think there's a Game Boy Advance version. There's multiple versions, um, so this is available places if you want to play it. <laughs> Mansta. Level one. But yeah, there you go. Newest addition to long box set, Soccer Kid. Love owning this. I, I was gonna say, I think most people like Soccer Kid, I just think I liked it more <laughs> than everybody else. That's okay. Usually shit on games at the beginning of the night. I shit the shit on them at the end. I mean, at, the, at least at the end, it's like we've given the game a chance. I don't know. I feel like that's a little more fair than shitting on it right at the start, but that's just me. Micro Mike. Uh, no, I have not, Blasto. You got Action 52 as a kid on Christmas. Wait, actually? Legit? Which version? The NES version or this version? I can't believe you actually received this as a gift. Yo, wait, this one looks sick. Why does this actually look really good? Didn't you like it? Well, thank God there's somebody else here that likes this game. I swear, everybody everybody watches the AVGN video and thinks they're an expert on Action 52. 
Oh, I'm out of bullets. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, God forbid somebody like... Yeah, I've played Phoenix. I guess that's the problem, right? I've played a bunch of PAL games. PAL PS1 and 2 games. This actually beats that. Yo, hey there, kill. It's actually going all right. I'm kind of enjoying this. Level two. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too, is the NES version is, from what I understand, far worse than this. Kill, what have you missed? You've missed like the first, I think 20 games in this. We're saving Cheetah Men for the end. It's not as bad as the NES version, but you're pretty sure that's the lowest bar you could climb. I don't know. Is it the lowest? I've played some pretty shitty games. And like, yeah, most of those 52 games might be bad, but there at least are 52 games. I've played single games that literally have like 10 minutes of content, and that content is bad. So like, I don't know. Level NES is probably the worst. Worse than, like, Color a Dinosaur? I don't know. There's some bad NES, Mansta. I don't think there's reloading. Gurgak did a full playthrough of Action 52. What, he beat all 52 games? Greb, thank you for the back. Keep trying. Um, I'm trying to think of other bad ones. Admittedly, my NES knowledge isn't huge. It's not vast. Seven years old. Yeah, I was gonna say, for a seven-year-old, I mean, you probably would've enjoyed it. Your parent might have felt, your parents might have felt ripped off, but at least you liked it. Level three. Played most of the games. I don't know, Color the Dinosaur looked pretty bad. A lot of the Wisdom Tree games look really bad. Wait, that's level three? Level. How did I get to level... Okay, I mean, I'll roll with it. I'll take it. Oh, wait, are there 51 games? Wait, actually? I hadn't scrolled to the last page yet. Is there really only 51? Do they... Do they dupe us like that? Much prefer the bootleg multi carts this thing was trying to imitate. I mean, fair. But, I mean, those were straight up illegal, right? Um, do I have any any notes to make after the last few? Mine's I was literally just minesweeper. Depth charge was by far the best so far. Alien attack was okay. I might put that on the best. Nah. Star duel. We got another, another two-player one. What are the purple ones? Interesting. I don't know why those are a different color. I guess we'll see when we get there. We're up to sharks. Let's try sharks. Level oh my god, wait. One. Speaking of Jaws. Isn't this literally just the minigame in Jaws? <laughs> what is this music? I kind of like it. This is literally Jaws on NES. I mean, I can get down with this. Multi carrot. <laughs> yeah, who needs a multi cart when you got a multi carrot? Bootleg multi cart, you could play Sonic from any stage. You what, like level warp? I mean, that's almost kind of convenient. You could skip Labyrinth Zone. Boom. This one looks nice, but it's boring to play. It's just kind of slow and sluggish. <laughs> and then Acid Hermit with the raid. Action 52 is too tantalizing. 
Ass is Hermit, how's it going? Welcome in, guys. Thank you for the raid. Yo, hey there, Adam. Cover killer, how's it going? We got level one done. How many of the 52 games are just different parts of Jaws cut up? <laughs> That's a good question. Lights, camera, action 52. Yeah, it just felt like an action 52 kind of night, you know? Yo, hey there, NES Atlas. Welcome in. It just felt like the right thing to do, guys. I wanted to play some more Genesis. I looked at my list, and I'm like, this is on there. Is this better than NES Jaws? I have not actually played that to any real extent. Not like that's saying a lot. I don't know, NES Jaws doesn't look that bad to me. That's, that's, we were talking about examples of AVGN, like, you know, kind of hyper shitting on games. I feel like Jaws is one of them. Like, that game looks okay to me. This is picking up, though. I think I was giving it shit because we were literally on level one. It's, it's picked up the pace a little bit. There's more sharks. They're faster. Love NES Jaws, you'll still play it on a regular uh, basis. Kind of a mix of arcade and strategy. Yeah, like it legit looks good to me. Mance, have you streamed it? I feel like I've lurked on some streams of it. I think it was you. Cheetah Men better than Spice. Oh, Spice World PS1 is one of the worst. Well, it's not even a game is the problem. There's a new challenger in Snood. Wait, there is? I know the mod submitted a couple more runs. I actually got mod status on that board, by the way. <laughs> I'm officially a Snood mod. Still have your copy, Comet? It's probably worth some money now. At least Action 52 has games in it. Yeah, you gotta give it at least a tad bit of credit. Rubber Ducky, that is the mod for the game. Ninja. Yeah, they've they've submitted a couple more runs in the last week. Yeah, I saw they they got I think did they get the they got second in journey, I saw. They're behind me by a little bit. And then um I think they got the easy world record, if I'm not mistaken. Is this on Fightcade Action 52 versus? Gotta play the co-op game somehow. Level three. Level complete. Character has yeah, our character has really bad sunburn. Level four. Uh, micro Mike. I should be on the lookout for Micro Mike. Well we'll get I'm sure we'll get to it. We're on like what game 20? We're getting there. Is that the number three medium world record holder? Third place world record. I would just love it if like the snood leaderboard just popped off. Like suddenly just a bunch of people started running it. That would crack me up. Honestly, that was one of the better ones. I like that one a lot. Sharks. Simple name. Get straight to the point. Okay, knockout's another two-player one. Which means I'll just kick ass because second player is gonna do nothing. Community's gonna put Snood back on the map. Yeah, if anybody's even vaguely interested in playing it. If you know how to record shit. Submit a run. Just be just submit a run. Let's get as many people on there as we can. I mean these the nice sprites. It's super basic though. For whatever reason there's a jump. 
It doesn't actually seem useful. No health bar, I'm noticing. I don't know, I think this is nine rounds. Do I want to sit here and button mash C? I know that jump. He can jump an entire human, human height. <laughs> yeah, this one's two player only, so we're just kind of fucking around. Best boxing game ever. I mean, I've played worse boxing games in all fairness. <laughs> That's the thing. Nothing here I've played feels like the worst of its kind. I feel like everybody... Everybody tries to get you to believe that, like, every game in here is, like, the worst possible version of said game. And other... I'd say other than Daytona. Which was a horrible racing game. I'd say other than that one. They've been alright. This is a direct port of the NES one. The boxer's sprites have shading versus the NES. Gave just enough of a good job to make it not suck the most, yes. <laughs> Man's on the lookout for the next FMV game. American Hero. Unrated versions only on PC. For shame. Okay, two more rounds. We're almost done. Minesweeper was worse than Minesweeper. Yeah, I guess I guess that's fair. Yeah, Mind's Eye. But it played just fine. Like, obviously, I'd rather play Minesweeper, but in a pinch, like, it did an okay job. Any boxing game that has jumping is automatically disqualified. Yeah, I don't quite know what the point of the jumping is. Action 52 Remake. If only- wait, didn't they- at some point in, like, the last decade, didn't they, like, find a whole bunch of copies of the NES version? And they, like, sold them off as, like, new old stock? Did that happen? Okay, that was knockout. Let's try intruder. Oh, this looks <laughs> this looks wag. This is like Robotron X, or like yeah, it feels a little like Robotron. Okay, it does scroll. I can't go up though. Only go right. One. These electric barriers suck. That's a dead end. So yeah, we can go- I guess we can go left and right, but we can't go up or down. At least more than the screen allows. That's a dead end. Yeah, this isn't quite Ro- I'm trying to think what this reminds me of. It's like, sorta of like Robotron, but not really. <laughs> I just kinda wait for the robots to get out of the way. There's no real reason to even need to shoot him. Good luck on the guess there. Oh, wait, maybe I was wrong. Is that Rocky Balboa? It's Sly himself. Yeah, a lot of FMV games are bad, but they have, like, decent ideas. They just, like, fail to execute properly. Oh, shit. Level one. Song's triggering you? Yeah, it does kind of sound like it's trying to go somewhere, and then it just never does. 
Uh, do I try that one again? I don't know. That one's pretty bad. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie on this one. Not that I've lied on any of them, but... This one's pretty abysmal. Just the, the movement and the way that it expects you to get through this. It's pretty bad. May miss Cheetah Men? Yeah, I don't know how, how soon it's gonna- I don't- I kinda wanna save it for last, but it might be a while. I just don't want to play the best so soon, you know? Yeah, this one sucks. <laughs> Level. Intruder. That one's pretty bad. Kind of impressed how Fox Hunt actually felt like you were the character moving around in the space. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know, I feel like I've played- I feel like I've played FMV games that had a better sense of movement than that, but... Certainly was far from the worst. Okay, that was Intruder. Yeah, that might go on the worst list. I don't know, it wasn't terrible. I still think Daytona was worse, but... That one had some promise, it just wasn't fun to play. Level one. Echo, is this literally Simon? This is literally Simon. <laughs> okay, we're resetting. <laughs> That's another bad one. <laughs> Need to boil the stream down to a 30 second video. I don't know if I have the time to edit that 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 hard. That'd be quite a bit of editing. Echo, yeah, that goes on the worst list. It's literally Simon and it's super clunky. Freeway, I'm assuming, yep. I actually love Freeway. This is literally a ripoff of an Activision game. From the Atari days. Um, we already made it. Or do you go back and forth? Usually there's a counter on screen. Saying like how many laps we've done. Level one. Tier list for Action 52, everything's an EFG. <laughs> Best game might make it to D. I don't know, I think Depth Charge was like, possibly C tier. Oh, we're getting the bones, okay, I see. We can grab one at a time, we probably have to bring it back to the other side. This is cute. Yeah, this is like Freeway. Which, um, if you haven't played Freeway on the 2600, that's actually one of the better 2600 games. Level one. Except in that one, you're a chicken crossing the road. Why are there red Batmobiles? It's a good question. That should be level one done. Oh wait, what's what's this up the top left? Hit detection's a little off, Fox. Yeah, just a little. Just a little. There we go, level one complete. This is one of the better ones. But they're kind of getting me with the nostalgia for the OG freeway. I will fully admit to that. I mean, it plays about as well, though. This is one of the more competent games on here. Well, Kyle like Ninja. Wait, Ninja? What, Cheetah Man? <laughs> New prediction. Which ninja are we talking about? Oh, there's a ninja game on the list. Ah, of course. Well, we'll see. I mean, I, there's, like I said, there's few of these that I've, like, really disliked. There's, there's a small handful, and considering we've played, like, 20 of them, it's not bad. It's just called Ninja. <laughs> Clearly gonna be a quality title. I'm not gonna expect Ninja Shadow of Darkness levels though. I 
Dang it, that hit me. I moved too early. That's all right. I should probably die soon anyway. I'd be here too long otherwise. Cause like I said, this this just like itches like a nostalgia itch for me. Anyway, they're funny cat. Ninjas are always great. I can't really think of any bad ninja games that I've played. So you got me there. Level four. All right, I think we're on our last life, which we just lost. Cars coming in clutch. Yeah, that one was fun. I could play a lot more of that, but I won't for everybody's sake. All right, mouse trap. We're almost a ninja. Level one. Yo, fast movement in this one. Holy shit, we move so quick. Okay, I dig this one. This one's cool. Is that Jerry? It's looking a little like Jerry. Level two. The movement is so quick, it's really satisfying. Level three. Shit. It's satisfying until it gets a little hard to control. A little twitchy. Boom. Mouse trap on 2600. How did that one play? Don't tell me it like tried to replicate the board game. Oh shit, so close. Level four. I wonder if these games actually end or they're just endless. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever find out. There's probably no game I'm gonna like wanna sit through long enough. And play well enough. Oh, kind of like Pac-Man? Okay. Almost the perfect 50-50. It's... It's the chat curse. Are there 10 levels? Oh shit, I might actually be able to beat Mousetrap then. I'm kind of kicking ass on this one. Level seven. Some of them move so freaking fast, though. Level complete. God, I have one life left. This is actually kind of stressful. Level eight. I did kind of like waste a life or two right at the beginning, though. Ooh, okay. Level nine. Level nine. Oh, I almost got hit by that cat. No, I touched it. Dang it. Dude, I was on level nine. That one's a vibe. I actually really like that one. It's unfortunate it's on a Genesis though, because that would have made a killer 2600 game. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like when you put it in those in, in, in that perspective, like yeah, I have to admit, like this is pretty damn simple for a Genesis game. Oh, I'm sure they were trying to go for like a Tom and Jerry kind of aesthetic here. I can almost guarantee it. I'm gonna try and get the level ten on this. This might be my favorite one. Level. World record incoming. Dude, I gotta make... I don't know if Action 52 has a speedrun page. Could you imagine what that board would look like? That would be such a mess of a board. I need to, I need to request the mousetrap game from Action 52 on Genesis. <laughs> 
Level five. Dude, this is fun though. Like, again, if this was an Atari, I would have played the hell out of this. Level complete. Get the Discord started. The mousetrap for Action 52 speedrunning Discord. Level complete. Level seven. Might have to tighten the title up a bit. No, it's perfect as is. Long titles, best titles. Dude, I haven't died at all. I'm killing it. Oh, fuck, that's a fast bugger. <laughs> Yay, we spawned on the cheese, though. <laughs> This one's great. See, this is why I wanted to play this. Because I knew there would just be like a gem on here. I actually knew it. Rebrand Mouse Trapper A50. We completed the game. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Fantastic. Okay, well, I at least beat one of the games on Action 52. That one was worth beating. I guess by, just by nature of me beating it, wi being willing to beat it, that makes it the best game. A timer, please. <laughs> Gonna get the freaking mousetrap for Action 52. I wonder, let me just look it up real quick. Do they have... I can't imagine Action 52 is on here. Oh my god, it is. Action 52 for Genesis. Dude, it ex there is a mouse trap any percent and it's got seven runners. <laughs> I am so tempted. Maybe we'll come back. We'll come back for that, all right? We'll come back for that. I want to sample the rest of this. That is that is fucking hilarious. Wait, how many how many games do they have on here? The record's a minute forty. A minute forty. Timing starts on game selection from main menu, ends on collecting the last slice of cheese. Dude, I'm so tempted. I probably will, but I'll save that for later. I'm just curious how many different leaderboards they have. And it's hard to tell with um the way this is laid out. There's quite a few of the games on here though. Far from all of them, but some of the better ones it looks like. Dude, I think Mouse Tra I think Mouse Trap is like the de facto Action 52 game cuz all of the, you know how you have like the little trophy icons on speedrun.com? They're all cheese for Action 52. For every game it's all cheese. So this must- I wasn't the only one that played this and was like, Dude, this mousetrap game's a banger, it needs a speedrun board. Amazing. I love the internet. Love the internet. Alright, let's try Ninja. This is the peak of the evening. Yeah, it might be. I mean, we still haven't hit Cheetahman yet. Alright, this is Ninja. This is the one you guys predicted about. Oh, fuck. Looks pretty enough. I'm just gonna keep throwing, throwing stars. Hopefully not die. Yeah, the death animation's pretty great. I like how no enemies are spawning now. Am I just killing them off screen or what? Looks like the background's repeating. <laughs> he does look like a bounce. He does look like a nightclub bouncer. I don't know if the screen is just repeating or I'm actually making progress. Maybe it's about killing enemies and not getting. No, I don't know. I think it's just the background repeats. 
yeah, the jumps are pretty great. Dude, I think the, the way to beat this is just momentarily throw ninja stars. I think you pretty much win doing this. This is this is the easy way to beat the game. Hell, we might be in another one on our hands here. What are the odds that like the two best Action 52 games are like next to each other on the menu? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna beat this one too. Level three. I don't think it's way harder for no reason. I mean, this one's not even that good, but it's entertaining. But maybe it is partially because they're easier. Yeah, no, this one's pretty brain dead easy. But I just kind of like it for the absurdity of it. Prediction looking good for the believer. It is. It's looking very good, actually. Oh, shit. Okay, see, not so easy now. Nate with the critique game. I mean, it does seem a little... It seems a little broken. The fact that I can kind of just keep throwing, throwing stars to the right. And pretty much win. And I don't like that the backgrounds just seem to repeat themselves over and over again. That's a bit of a downside. Dude ran right through me. I don't know if he was supposed to hit me there. I guess only the throwing stars hurt us, actually. Which I'm cool with. Less ways to die. Oh shit. <laughs> Level four. Game's gonna th Oh my god! I just spawned in game. Oh, this is, yeah, and see, once you let a few in, it's over. Jackie Chan's action kung fu looking different. <laughs> yeah, this one's not bad. Let's try it again. We're about halfway through the list. We're making actually good progress on this. Oh, shit. Maybe just run, and then as soon as I see one... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't even need to stop and throw stars until I see an enemy. Just assuming they don't, they don't immediately stop and hit scan me. Which they don't seem to. Shit, am I gonna speedrun some Action 52 games tonight? <laughs> I think the answer is yes. Level complete. Level two. Okay, we didn't die. First level done. Just watching that right side of the screen. And the game's like, uh, oh, we don't need to spawn enemies. Yeah, I do wish the levels looked different. I mean, I guess I could say the same for the Mousetrap game, but... But that one was in a confined space. This one, the fact that there's so much scrolling and they pretty much do nothing with it is a little sad. Yeah, the art that's here is good. I just wish there was a little more of it. I think that's fair to say. What game number are we on? I think this is, this is 25 or something. We actually did beat one. We beat Mousetrap. I'm thinking we might beat this one, too. There have actually been some games worth considering beating. <laughs> Amazingly. Easy. Easy. Level <laughs> four. Still got all the lives. We're looking good. 
This one would be kind of a boring speed run because it really just is walk to the right. Mousetrap at least like feels like it's got some skill involved. Where's the challenge? Yeah, this one's pretty simple. That's that's probably its biggest drawback. But yeah, it looks nice. Damn, suddenly they're spawning way more enemies. Okay. It's ramping up. It's ramping up. Yeah, it's a, it's a cardio. It's a cardio lesson. Endurance match. We beat the game. There's nine levels, Ramen. Still got a little ways to go. We'll most likely beat this one, though. Assuming I don't get overwhelmed. The only issue is when you get overwhelmed by enemies, which can happen. When the game just suddenly despawn. Yeah, like this. When the game suddenly decides to spawn a bunch of them. Those, those are when the problems arise. See, it's like already doing it. There's your challenge, Ramen. <laughs> and then it like, it, then it chills out for a little bit. It's so weird. They come in waves. Okay. Yeah, see, and now there's none. Oh, random ninja star. Boom. Alright. So what was that, one death? We're on level six. A few more levels left. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. The throwing star went through him. You guys see that? I threw one right at him. He didn't die. That was some BS. Oh, there goes another death. We have two more lives. I don't know. This one's going to be cutting it close, I think. A little worried about our progress on this one. See, like, that one didn't hit either. Just some of these guys are randomly not getting hit. Oh, let's see, and then we get in trouble. Yeah, see, once once that happens, it's like, it's over, dude. Too many enemies on screen at once. <laughs> yeah, they're, oh, It's classic. Fuck, there's too many enemies on screen. I'm dead. Yeah. I don't know. We might not beat that one. Last couple levels of that get pretty brutal. Maybe one more try. Now, most people don't really care because low modern game. Nickelodeon Smash clone game announced a new update. They'll change stage items and voices for the characters. Oh, it's for free? I didn't beat Ninja. I mean, we can try it one more time. It's just, this one's a little longer and it's easy to die in the last couple stages. And I don't really see like a, a, uh, like a consistent strat to stay alive, really. I don't know, maybe we can figure something out? Just don't die, yeah, as simple as that. The only other thing I can think to do is, is my original strat of just like, Every every handful of steps just throw a star anyway. But I do like it. I do like this game. That was the prediction, right? Whether or not I like it, I do like it. So those that believed in me liking it deserve points. Which I don't know why you think I wouldn't like it. I mean, how many of these games have I really roasted? <laughs> Only a handful, really.
Congratulations, believers. This is what it pays off to believe. And yeah, we'll try this one more time. If we game over again, I'll move on, but I do kind of want to see if we can get through this one. It's already two stages. It doesn't even look like a ninja. It looks like a dude running around in a motorcycle helmet. It does kind of look like he's wearing like a bunch of leather. <laughs> leather jacket, leather pants. Yeah, he does look more like a biker than a, uh, than a ninja. I agree there. I think it might be better to run and just avoid the stars. Oh god, maybe not. <laughs> Level three. A stealthy leather daddy. That's a term I've never heard and I don't think I ever want to hear again. This is the Road Rash platformer. There you go. No wonder I like it. Got it. All right. Damn, that was only level three. I already died once. This is not looking good. What a banger. Stealthy leather daddy. Jesus. Yoink. Yeah, I really have to worry about the guys coming toward me from the back. The guys running at me, not necessarily as much. Oh my god, we made it. That was a close one. Level five. Okay, level five. We still have three lives left. Yeah, see, because they just kind of run off screen the other way. So then I don't have to... It's the guys that are running the same direction as me I have to worry about. Oh, is that an arrested development thing? I was going to say, that's very specific to have just, like, come up with. <laughs> but hey, it's this chat. You never know. Damn, there was three of them in a row there, like all stacked. They were all stacked on another. Probably works as a bouncer or in a sex shop. But yeah, maybe both. Part time. Dang, I could. You know, I could have run a timer on this one just to see where I was at. Oh well. That's fine. I don't think I'd want to submit a run for this one anyway. Mousetrap, though, we may have to come back to. Nice, got that one. Alright, that's level six. There's probably only a couple levels left, and we still have three lives. We may beat this one. Even more runs being sped. Sorry, mousetrap may uh, too in maybe too enticing not to do. Easy game, easy. Oh fuck, that's what I get for saying anything. <laughs> We got it, though. Level. The alpha build of Shadow of Darkness. It started in two dimensions. They had to add a third. Oh, damn it. Level. It's level eight, guys. We're so close. No, don't you dare, game. Not this early. Too many of them coming from the back. Holy moly. 
Yeah, see guys, like, the difficulty has definitely ramped up. Jesus Christ. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fuck, I jumped right into it, no. Dude, we like basically beat this. Come on. There's no way I'm doing all of it again. Too much work. Just keep moving, keep moving. Hope they don't come from the left side. I'm like actually nervous, because I, I do want to get this. Oh my god, okay, last level. <laughs> last level, last life. No pressure. No. No! Stop! No! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Guys, that was it. That would have been it. I don't know, do I try it again? I'm gonna be a little bothered if I don't beat it. But it's more of the same. It's more of the same, let's be real. It's a good one. Beat all- I can't beat all the games. There's no way in one night, not happening. Some of them I straight up wouldn't want to. In before one more try, because of course. <sighs> Maybe I'll come back to it. I'd never beat all the games, no, there's no way. I mean, we beat one game, that's already more than I thought I was gonna get. Alright, we got some slalom. Which is an NES staple. And this seems to basically be that. But, uh... Is it just me or is it slower than NES slalom? Admittedly, I haven't played it in a long time. I mean, we beat level one. Level two. I'll take that. This one might be another one that's not too hard to beat. Until I realize the hit detection's whack. Level two. Yeah, this one's alright. I just gotta be far from the trees or else it thinks we hit one. It's a bad spot to be in. Stay toward the middle if I can. Oh, come on! I should've been able to squeeze between those. Ski Freak looks like shit. What is Ski Freak? I'm assuming that's also like Slalom. Is there a Yeti in this one? I hope so. Man, the hit detection on these trees is bad. Which is like the only, uh, you know, the only obstacle, right? <laughs> and we were right there, apparently. Oh, interesting. I think it, so it does spawn us. It does spawn us where we died, which I think was what was happening in the ninja game too. So I was actually probably really close to the end. Oh yeah, I know about Ski Free. I don't know about Ski Freak, though. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try that one again. That one was pretty... Pretty middle of the road. Honestly. Level one. Dauntless. You're stupid, Ramen. We all make mistakes. We got a shooter with clouds in our way. <laughs> Level. Lots and lots of clouds in our way. As you'd want from a shooter, obviously. You don't want to be able to see what you're hitting. Or the planes coming from behind you. This one's not even... It's not even really that bad. It's just not well executed. That is kind of a lot of these, though. Let's 
Ski Freeze, a game where you just race down a white background while a monster pops out every now and then. Sounds like a vibe. Get a abominable snowman coming out. Yeah, this one's just basic. I mean, they're all basic, but this one's even more so. And the clouds getting in the way. Like, yeah, even though the parallax scrolling's nice, it's more of a nuisance than anything. I'm assuming this level's gonna end at some point. It's like some shit you paint for your babies. It looks like Toy Story. Yeah, it looks like Andy's room. Clouds have a bit of charm. I can already tell you these levels are too long. <laughs> They're already too long. Level two. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset or just kill myself. I guess it's probably faster. Run into something. We're on our last life anyway. All right, that was Dauntless. Yeah, one of the worst ones. Not as bad as Daytona. Or Echo. <laughs> Fucking Echo. That was just bad Simon. Okay, what are we at? 28. We're getting there. Force 1. Not Air Force 1. Force 1. What have you got? Shmup. Yo, hey there, Electro. How's it going? I mean, it looks nice. Seems pretty easy, though. At least so far. I couldn't shoot that, so I thought maybe it was a pickup. Apparently, it is not. Again, we got we got more parallax scrolling. We got multiple scrolling layers. Yeah, I guess we just avoid whatever that thing is. Oh, it tries to follow us. Again, we can't kill it, so... It's just, like, on screen. I did like Ninja. We almost beat it. We were on the last stage, and then I died, but... It took quite a ways to get there. I might circle back to it and try and beat it again, but... And then, it's funny. It was right next to Mousetrap. And I'm like, what are the odds that, like, two of the best games on here are right next to each other? In the list. It's almost like they knew. I think even they knew which ones they phoned it in on and which ones they thought were actually good. <laughs> Level two. Is this game $200? The Genesis version? Collectors, man. Collectors will pay quite a pretty penny. I don't know. Honestly, if I got this for like five bucks, I'd be kind of happy with it. Maybe even ten dollars. But yeah, 200 is absurd. Really more of a collector's piece than anything. I can almost guarantee most of the people buying it probably aren't really playing it. Level complete. 199. Level three. Wait, it retailed for 199 or it currently goes for 199? Did it really retail for $200? Holy shit. That is absurd. Yeah, apparently Comet's parents bought it for them. For Christmas. 200 bucks. I bet this is the size of like a typical cartridge, right? Like I bet it didn't even need that much more storage space than a standard game. People will say, well, if it costs 200 it must be good. No, that was... Admittedly, that was the company pulling a fast one on everybody. $4 a game. Yeah, I can't say that's worth it. There are a couple games here I'd pay, like, a dollar for. So, like I said, 5 bucks probably total. 
I pay five bucks. Am I gonna beat this one just out of sheer ease? Hey there, Lydia. Eight dollars after inflation? Inflation's that bad. Heard the anyone's S1 got way too hot and smelled like burnt plastic. I've also heard that. Whole streams action 52 worth about five bucks. Cheap gaming. Right? That's, we're all about gaming on the cheap. Yeah, I'm just gonna beat. I, I'm, the odds of me beating this are pretty high just because it's simple. Five. They were ripping off Windows 3. Yeah, at least with a couple of them. I ran right into that. That was stupid. Level five. That was dumb of me. If you don't see a shitty Lemmings clone, you'll be disappointed. <laughs> Surely they must have a Lemmings clone, right? The way these spaceships are spazzing out. Cracking me up. This really reminds me, I had some TV plug and plays that played a lot like this. That's what that reminds me of. But those were really cheap, you know, those were like 20 bucks or less. I had one that I'm pretty sure ripped off a bunch of 8-bit games. Oh shit. Okay, maybe I won't beat this. That was a shitload of enemies there. Action 52 CIB off eBay, $800. $800. Now is that just the buy it now or is that what actually people are paying? Because a lot of buy it nows are severely overpriced. Because they just hope some sucker is going to like not look up the actual value. Well, so much for beating that one. Not that I think we're missing out. That was Force 1, right? We're on to Spidey. Level 1. Wow, it's just collect the flies. Level 1. Minesweeper was a hot new game in 93. Yeah, no, it actually would have been, right? Yeah, legit. This one we we'll see. Level I shouldn't say we're gonna beat it, but this is kind of like Mousetrap. It's pretty much the same concept, Level complete. but just not as charming. Level three. Yeah, buy it now. I would not take that as face value, because like I said, a lot of uh, eBay sellers will list shit for like way overpriced. I'm gonna try and get that kind of money just because like some sucker doesn't look up the value of it Which is like you're on the internet like you you'd think these people would know how to look up values of video games, but not always Yeah, you have to look at sold listings Hey there, Hallion How goes the utter utter shit show? I don't think it's an utter utter shit show I've actually liked a handful of these games There's a decent number of okay games in here. I don't know. I'm digging it. I don't feel like I'm wasting my time. <laughs> Level six. Oh, I ran right into that guy. Level six. Yeah, it seems like the NES version's worse. And again, a lot of people like to play up how bad these are. Three quarters filled with- I'm not arguing that. I just think to write off everything here is a bit much. Level one. That's all I'm saying. You know, and I'm coming at it from the perspective of not having to spend $200 plus on it, so. Level two. 
Also keep that in mind. Level complete. Highs are slightly less low than the NES version, Level yeah. Three. There have been very few games in here that I would legitimately call, like, the absolute bottom of the barrel. I mean, obviously some of these are pretty phoned in, but... Level complete. Spidey looks like it could have been a banger. We're talking F versus D minus. I don't know, I'd probably put this more like D plus. There's enough here I've genuinely enjoyed that I'd probably give it a bit of a bump. But yeah, I mean, we're still talking D tier at, at the best. Too close to a C. <laughs> well, it's not your ranking, is it? Do your own ranking. Yeah, see, if I do a D plus, yeah, we can have it 69%. Dr. Ozon? He's a little early. Level six. This game doesn't deserve a 69. Again, that is all that is all speculation and personal personal preference. Interesting stream presentation. That is putting it mildly. Yeah, if you've never seen Dr. O's raid uh, intro, it is something. Shit. Level eight. So close to beating this one. Level complete. I think this is the last level. We still have two lives. Level Should have nine. it. Okay, half the screen's cleared, pretty much. I think that's it for Spidey. There we go, we beat Spidey. NES cart only sells $350 to $400. Somebody bought CIB for $1,200. Dude, collectors. Crazy. It's crazy what some people will spend on this stuff. Okay, we're up to we're up to thirty. We're getting there. Level one. This is literally just um, what is this kaboom? Value, yeah, Level quote unquote one. value. Okay, we have to avoid the rotten apples. And I'm assuming each level is just like okay, you've collected this many. Super Mario, clearly. Of course, how could I not see it before? Level complete. Got a raid during his... Dr. O gets a lot of raids. I've noticed. I'm too good for a V smile. <laughs> I don't I don't think I used the words too good. I think I said I have standards, which I still stand by. I don't know. If people are freaking out over me playing this, I don't think a V smile is gonna go over too well. Standards. I'm apparently I'm already pushing it with this. I shouldn't test my luck. Ah, oh, damn it. Level three. V smile games are better than this. Maybe I had the wrong um the wrong VTAC then, because the one I had was pretty shitty. I'd say I'd say this is better. 
Maybe maybe you had a different experience. Maybe I'm I'm maybe I'm thinking of something else. I had like some VTech laptop and it was pretty bad. The retro tin can handle it. And probably outputs composite, if I had to assume. It'll it'll try and do something with that signal, I'm sure. Might not look very good, but. Dude, more than anything, I'm just trying to avoid the uh, the bad apples. Almost getting the good ones is like secondary. Speaking of, V V Smile has Unreal Engine five games. <laughs> Halion, oh that's right, you have a, you had a Pico. That's right, you mentioned that. Part of me wants to get one, but I. I I don't think there's gonna be that much actually worth playing. I'm gonna try this one more time. Level one. Looks close to a six. Yeah, I had a different VTech laptop. Mine was like monochrome display, and it was like maybe eight bit. I don't know. Maybe it was sixteen, but it was. I think the monochrome turned me off quite a bit because I'm like, because I got this in like the mid two thousands, and it seemed like pretty cheap even for that era. One of the Genesis emulator plays Pico games. Somebody mentioned that. I'm like, I don't know how that would work. Because the whole gimmick of the Pico, right, is there's like these books you get. And there's a kind of like a leapfrog. There's like this pen you have to press on. So I don't know how that would work in emulation. Does the Sega Genesis version of Action 52 have cheat mode? Yeah, I'm saving it for later, I think. I was going to try and get through the other games first, but we'll see. Dance pad available for the V smile. It's amazing. Level three. Oh, you think there's some kind of DS solution for the book? Which means wouldn't you have to have like scans of the books? I just like can't imagine anybody's put like too much time or effort into um emulating Pico stuff. Little Mermaid V Smile games? Are there multiple? Whole bunch of Disney games. Oh man. This one's like actually like a little intense. This, again, another one I kinda dig. It seems like the games started kinda weak and they've gotten better. Again, I don't know if they knew that. Maybe they were just like trying to curb expectations and then they came out swinging. That would be kind of funny. But like now we're now that we're in like the middle of the pack of these games, I'm actually kind of digging them. Level five. Imagine being so bored and out of ideas you made a game like this. Ramen, this is like, I don't know if you've played Atari much, but this is like, this would be a god tier Atari game. But yeah, for 93, a little less impressive. I will I will give you that. Level five. Uh I don't know if the Pico actually failed that hard. I think it did okay in some territories. But I don't know for sure. I think in the US it may have been a failure. Winnie the Pooh on V smile. You guys are gonna get me to play freaking V-Smile games, aren't you? Fuck that apple. Jeez. Well, we're on our last life. I don't think I'm gonna beat this one. I do like this one. Yeah, it's just getting a little too tough. V-Smile Roulette. I have to play every console's the law. If I only had the time for all that. Apple seed. That was not a bad one. I actually quite liked that one. Genesis Roulette win. I have a card for it. Somebody gets it, I'll do it. 
I'm not putting that kind of level of work in until somebody gets it. I'm, I'm not ready for that kind of work again just yet. I think my channel is the only place where people would care about vSmile games. It's possible. I, there's, there's probably a couple other channels on Twitch, I'm sure, but... One of the few. Yo, hey there, Lee. How's it going? Level. Skater. Can we expect Tony Hawk levels here? This is Back to the Future. Level one. Deadly Umbrella. I thought I couldn't tell what that was. I, I thought that was like a pickup at first. I think it's either a beach ball or an umbrella. Is that cat dead? Should we be calling 911? <laughs> What's with the dead cats? I was kind of vibing with this game until the dead cats. This is just fucked up. That is quite the jump. California games. Which I should probably play. I don't mind this one. This one's actually kind of cool. Other than the cats. I can't get over the cats. That's that's a bit of a that's a bit of a deal breaker, but <laughs> Must be California. That's horrible. Maybe they're just keeping warm, but they're not moving, Vansta. They're not moving. What are, what are we supposed to make of that? My brother in Christ, why are you jumping like a goddamn flea? I think you should go see a doctor. Yeah, I don't know what it is with the jump height in these games. It's like way over the top. Technical limitations. This is Action 52. We can't have more than two moving things on screen at once. Um, does this game ever end? There are supposed to be levels, right? Are we supposed to be picking shit up? Nope, the cats kill us. Level <laughs> one. I'm like, this level seems egregiously long. And the beach balls hurt us. I think we just avoid everything, right? No, we're supposed to pick this shit up? What are those? Are those like TVs? Radios? People in the background. No, they're, they're hands waving. There's, there's slight animation last. Look, their hands are waving. <laughs> Don't know what a boom box looks like. Well, I've never seen a boom box with an antenna like that. It looks like a TV tuner antenna. How many boom boxes have two antennas like that? In the 80s, we used radio. Make fun of the young kid. I know what a boombox looks like. I've never, I've, I can honestly say I've never seen a boombox with two antenna like that. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say the vast majority, I'm assuming, had one. This one's decent enough, but it's excessively long. Like, I'm kind of waiting for it to be over. There we go. Damn, that was just level one. Level two. Yours actually had two antenna? I'm, I'm sure there are some. Oh, it's moving faster now. But I can't imagine a ton of them had to antenna. This game was a BG song. What song would it be? Um. Shit, that's an interesting question, actually. I'm trying to think of a BG song that's far too long for its own good. Um. It's like the high civilization of BG songs. <laughs> There you go. 
Do you look up the- just look up the album art for High Civilization. It's a sight to behold. Staying alive. I was gonna say, can it be staying alive when all the cats are dead? Level, level two complete. I'm definitely not finishing this. Level three. This is gonna be another nine level. These are nine long levels. Howling with the hydrate. Shoot. Can I do this one-handed? I think I can. Game's easy enough. Okay, let's get through one more level than all death abuse to get out of here. Action 52 is like Atari games remastered. Maybe that's why I like it. Maybe that's why I like it, because I actually like the simplicity of a lot of Atari games. But like the new coat of paint kind of helps. So this works for me. I mean, not all the games work. Clearly there's still some like definite clunkers, but. Might be superior to the roller skating in California games, dare you say. Oh, hey there, Cryonic. Got a PS5, congrats. Not an easy console to get a hand of. All right, that was Skater. I I think I'd put that toward the best. Well, except for the fact the courses were too long. Eh, never mind. That one was kind of middle middle of the road. Every pun intended. Sunday Drive. Okay, we're at 32. Level. We're over halfway. Did that say Segaville? Did you guys see that? It does. It says Segaville. Did they get rights to the Sega name? Probably not. Want to use a PS5 for Netflix? Imagine getting a PS5 and only using it for Netflix. You know the bar is low when you're only slightly better than California games. I've never played California games. Is it supposed to be that bad? I don't know, it looks like it could be God of One. Is it really just avoid the other cars? Is this it? Seems to be the case. California games is a vibe, but it's hard. It's, wow. I, I mean, they did call it Sunday Drive. They did kind of curb my expectations, but somehow I'm still a little disappointed on this one. It's the boring version of Spy Hunter, pretty much. Yeah, no shooting. Super slow. This is kind of rough. And I like my racing games, but this is this is kind of sad. I was Epics. Originated the multiple games in one game. That's a bold claim. The first. Yeah, I'm not beating this one either. God, some of these are just too long and boring for their own good. Like, visually, it's nice. If they just sped this up, it would be so much more interesting. Level two. Have a Mac port of the Winter Games pretty bad. You don't want to play it yet, but you will play it. Level complete. Level three. Oh, yeah. Usually, the multiple games in one... It's usually not a good thing. Usually pretty bad. Alright, I'm gonna die on purpose. I don't have the patience to finish this one. This one this one's toward the bottom. Level three. Dare me to see where they're I am not beating this. This is gonna take way too long. We're only on level three. There's nine levels. There's nine levels in all these games. I don't have don't have the patience. That's honestly going on my like worst of list. Sunday drive. I mean, they pretty much warned us with the title, but still. Star Evil. It's probably another shooter. One. Yep, and I'm already dead. Level one. To beat everything, it's like 450. Le yeah, well, yeah, right? Nine times 52. Level one. 
Level one. God, that would be terrible. Can I not die right at the beginning? I think I knew what to- Can I go through those- Level one. Those scaffoldings? Am I gonna die here? Okay, those I can pass through. I was not aware of that. Oh, this is just bad. Okay, so hear me out. Space shooter, but random shit in the way. Like we needed this. Yeah, this is this is toward the bottom. Star evil. I don't even want to play more of it. I'm done with that one. <laughs> Air command. Level. Another shmup. I should beat at least one level of each. I mean, is it necessary? Need a good game after this as a pal. I don't know. I have enjoyed some of the game. I might go back, circle back. There was a mouse trap game that I really liked. That I'm thinking about speedrunning. Because it's only like a minute speedrun. There have been some good moments on this. Like I'm, I'm gonna die on that hill. Don't think you've word the used the word necessary anywhere near this game slash stream. <laughs> yeah. So let's just not waste our time trying to beat a single level of every game. I can- I can- I can feel the stinkers from a mile away. No point in wasting time. I mean, even this one's probably- I guess we'll get through one stage. If it's short enough. Where's the score? Yeah, there's no score even. Don't even get a score. On a shmup. Level two. Well, there it is. It appears between levels. And I don't know if I've ever played a shmup where you're actually scrolling down. Toward the bottom of the screen? I mean, I'm sure they're out there, but... Usually it's the other way around. Almost none of these games actually list score. I mean, I, I forgot that they have a pop-up in between levels. So many, many of them actually do list the score. It's just you don't get to see it the entire time you're playing. Which seems like a missed opportunity. Yeah, like, they should at least have the scores on screen at all times. There's no reason not to. Shmups that change the direction? What, like within game? That would be cool. That would introduce too many bugs. It'd probably crash the games, yeah. Can't have that many digits on screen. Too much to handle. Level three. Schmuck by cave do that. Yeah, I've heard cave schmups are some of the best ones. Yo, V. Snood shift, let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. V, please do like at least one speed run. That's that's all I ask. Like even if it's not a great one, if you could just get your name on the board, that would mean so much to me. You don't even know. Level four. Am I gonna beat this? No, we're on our last life. I'm gonna die. What's the le- any of them. Whichever you want to do, V. I'll just be happy if I see your name on- on one of those boards. I'd be so happy. Is Snood 2 getting its own night? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have much content actually in that one. I think there's more in that one than there is the first game. We'll have to wait and see. I feel like this one I'm gonna get close and then not win. <laughs> I can already feel it. If 
first thing on speedrun.com. It's a perfect first one. <laughs> I've already got a couple people to submit runs. I would just, I would love it. And I, I recently, I just got moderator status on that board. So, yeah, I, I, I will see it. Yo, Sark, how's it going? Snoot is the ball shooting game. Um, I guess ball is a term. Shooting snoods. It, it's bust a move. It's, it's, it's pretty much a carbon copy of bust a move with like 90s attitude thrown in. How's it going, boys? Three weeks till the Capcom fighting collection. We're getting close. Sark with the raid. Welcome to Action 52 on Genesis. I apparently have no taste. Sark, how goes it? How was, um... How was Sub-Zero Mythologies? I'm assuming you gave up on it, but I don't know for sure. Is it better than the NES? Apparently it is. I haven't played the NES version. I don't know. I've enjoyed some of this stuff. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> some of it's been kind of fun. Had enough? Don't think you made it over halfway. I mean, I commend you for quitting. You honestly, you you st stuck with that game longer than I would have expected. Like when I say I couldn't do the half hour, like I legit, like the half hour was torture to me. It was so bad. So kudos for getting further than I did. I mean, considering you started what at six, it's like a good almost five hours. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Five hours on that game is, like, legitimately commendable. Most people could not last that long. Into the trash it goes. Yeah, until you have to badge it. God forbid. And we get shootout. <laughs> this is certainly a game. <laughs> I'm not gonna wholeheartedly defend this game, guys, but some of the stuff in here is fun. For, like, Atari standards. <laughs> Yo, hey, there's Sparrow. How's it going? Level one. Did I fail level one? I'm not exactly sure what the goal of this one is. Have we done Cheetah Men yet? No, I've been saving Cheetah Men. I've been trying to get through everything else first. I've beaten a couple of these games, um, but I'm mostly just worried about sampling them, see what's on here. It's very hit or miss, but I think it's... Some of the games actually do hit. Like, I don't think everything on here is utter garbage. These are almost at the level of early Famicom. They're close. Yeah, they're like they're like between Atari games and Famicom games. They tried. Like, this one's not terrible, but it's very basic, right? It's super run of the mill. Apparently, I got enough. Calling them 2600 games is a bit insulting to 2600 games. <laughs> yeah, you might have a point there. Definitely could have beaten it, it just would have required replaying levels so you weren't losing as many lives yet. Been there with some PS1 games. Sark, if you ever play Ninja Shadow of Darkness, you're gonna, you're gonna have a similar experience on that one. Most of my 30 hours in that game was like replaying levels just to keep more lives. You ever seen those really janky looking gun controllers? But not Sega light guns even older. Um, well, what's the one that AVGN has? It's like the Telstar or no, like the TriStar Arcade. It's got like a steering wheel and a gun. And then what was the other one? Like a Pong set, probably. Yeah, before the Famicom, like, some of the gun controllers are, like, crazy looking. 
Level five. Fucking zapper super scope. I'm assuming zapper. I think on this I just have to hit most of the shots here. Well, I think they even had the like. I'm not gonna say they recalled the the NES zapper, but they definitely had the like. Oh shit! I think I fucked it up. Yeah. Level five. Cause it used to be gray, and then they had to change it to like bright neon orange. How do you screw up a light gun? You'd be surprised. Specifically went and got a gray one. Yeah, you kind of have to look for those ones. Oh, I see. Okay, right, so there's a set number of enemies. A set number of shots as well. Well, I'm probably gonna fail this one. Yeah, it's just the scroll is repeating. Missed a shot there. That was way off. All right, we got it. Okay, <laughs> with three shots left, no less. Level six. Yeah, for those coming in, I promise there's more entertaining games than this, but we're just getting a sample for what's on here. Even stuff like this, I sort of like. Like, these are kind of cute and fun. Oh, I totally missed that shot. Damn. Maybe just go for a front row. Dude, I only have one shot. Rip. Yeah, this has got some Genesis twang to the soundtrack, for sure. That one wasn't bad. I kind of dug that one, for what it was. That was shootout. We're at 36, shit. I need to make more progress. Yeah, there's 52. <laughs> there's... Wait, well, yeah, wait. Somebody said there was only 51. Does a number skip or something? Or maybe challenge is, like, a mishmash? Is challenge gonna be, like, NES Remix? Probably not. Yamaha saving the day. Gotta use your hands? Yeah, it's a baby's toy. Let's see what bombs away is. This literally might be kaboom. Anyway, yeah, there, Jay. Nope, this is not kaboom. What it's an auto runner? Oh man. That is a very Genesis soundtrack. This is great. <laughs> I love this one. Yeah, no bomb whistling sound effects. Couldn't have too many sound channels at once. I think it's literally just avoid the bombs. Which I can get down with. Yeah, it's, it's literally just run and jump. A and B do nothing, C jumps. <laughs> Shoot, I might be able to beat this one. Depending on how crazy it gets, watch it get like super intense. Yeah, it's already getting faster. The bombs are moving in different directions. It's just level two. I guess I was just expecting far worse from this whole collection. I actually don't regret picking this for tonight. It's honestly been fun exploring these. Now beating them all on the other hand would be a bit of a chore. But just like sampling each one for a bit. We have beat a few of them, but. <laughs> and the Made in America tag on the cover. Like they're so proud of this. 
Level <laughs> I just love it. Level three. I'm not a quitter. I mean, I haven't really beat many of these games, so... I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit of a quitter, but... I've probably given this entire collection far more time than most people would. I don't know, I've seen some, I've seen some decently beautiful third-party Genesis games, but yeah, I know what you mean. Especially on the sound front. I feel like a lot of times they just didn't click. With the OSTs. Crowns on wheels. Yeah, I don't know what those are supposed to be. Shit, I jumped right into that. Luckily, I believe this game does spawn you, like, right where you died. You don't have to do the entire level over. Dude, these are moving fast now. That was only level three. There's nine levels in every game, by the way. Level four. Yo, hey there, Gray. The best game I've ever played on this channel, Ramen. Without a doubt. Yeah, shoot. Just talking about giving this game a D. Maybe, maybe A just for action, you know? Or an S. I mean, it's got 52 games. How many games can you say have 52 games in them? Oh yeah, I'm definitely not, yeah, I'm not saying the Super Nintendo sound chip's like inherently better. It's got its own weaknesses, but... Everybody considers like the Genesis sound chip to be very metallic sounding. But I think it worked to really good effect when the composers actually kept that in mind and kind of composed with that consideration. Level complete. <laughs> Wait, it completed the level. I died though. I must have hit the level complete right when I died. Or like like moments before. Probably like a frame or two before. Amazing. I thought I was dead there. I should try Comic Zone at some point. I like that. I should try Comic Zone. I should try these good games. I'm over here playing Action 52. What can I say? Am I just safe toward the back of the screen? Like, can I just chill back here? Seems to be working. Never mind. Level five. One life left. We're about halfway through this. I could beat this if I really wanted to, but I don't think I really want to. Level complete. Well, right, yeah, if you played Square, like, Square was at the top of their game with their soundtracks. I feel like a lot of people just haven't heard some of the best Genesis music. Yeah, $200. I did not realize that was the retail price. That is pretty fucking rough. $200 for this? Like, I can see dogging on it for that, but I don't know. Is somebody that didn't have to pay that at all? I'm kind of liking this game. Okay, that was bombs away. On the speedboat. Level one. No shooting. This is literally like River Raid. Oh, I think River Raid. You're in a. You're in a plane. Oddly enough. Oh no, enemy boater. <laughs> This is gonna be another one that's just boring. Unfortunately. As I run into a log. Level one. PC port of the Genesis collection. Oh, Steam Workshop allowed other games to be played on it. That's actually really neat. I didn't know that. 200 for this. That's 385 a game. <laughs> What a steal. What an absolute steal. I mean, like I said earlier, I'd pay a couple bucks for some of these games, but most of them I would not pay anything for. So if I could get the cart for like 10 bucks, I'd probably take that. 
Nine. You know, I'd probably take that. But yeah, most of these games aren't worth any money. Streets of Rage 2 is your immediate answer. Yeah, that had a killer soundtrack. I need to return to that. Actually try and beat it. We did get decently far for a first attempt, though. Oh, they modify the Golden Axe ROM. Interesting. I did not know that. Bloodlines. Although I think that's in a collection, right? That's in the that's in the Castlevania collection, I believe. Is it? Level three. Oh shit. Is that a mouse in a boat? Level three. <laughs> he moves so quick. Oh my god. Okay, game just ramped up difficulty all of a sudden. Dang it! <laughs> the level 3 really just said nah. Well, that was Speedboat. Rip indeed. Dead Ant. Let's see what the hell this is. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Level Speedboat five. just got speedrun. Death percent. Oh, it's a shooter. Get wrecked. Oh, those ones can't be killed? Apparently not. So they're just on screen to kill us. Level yeah, it's like a weird centipede hack, almost. Okay. And there's no, like, charge... charge shot I can do. I think they're just, once they're on screen, they're there. And now there's three of them. This is fine. This is fine. There's like no other enemy spawning though. There we go. The grass work? It's a literally just like four of the same image stitched together. <laughs> I mean, I guess the image is good, but man. Can you just extend it instead of repeating it? I guess level one is done. Background physically hurts to look at. I mean, I've seen worse. It's 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 up there though. It's pretty bad. God, imagine finishing every game in this. Fifty-two games. I mean, I've spent almost four hours, and we're not even like done sampling them. I've beat two games. It's like someone's shitty first PowerPoint. <laughs> Honestly. PowerPoint like Windows 2000. It's like a carpet with a bad grass print. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it looks like actually. I see what Norman was. I don't think we've hit 41 yet. We're getting close to that, that zone though. Like, I need to start picking up the pace a little bit if I want to sample everything. I think at the end we're gonna try and speed run one of the games. We played a game called Mousetrap and it was like super fun. And so I looked up if this game had a speed run page. Of course it does. And actually the Mousetrap one has like the most runners. So I guess I have good taste when it comes to others that have played Action 52 as well. It's just such a quick, fast moving game. I think that's probably why it it gets like the speedrun bug in people. Seemed like an IT teacher got their class to each make a game and then just packaged them together. It almost kind of does feel like a student project. Well, dead ant, dead ant is dead ant. 
Yeah, what was that? 38. Okay, Norman is 41. We'll get the Norman in a couple here. G Fighter. It's probably another sp space shooter. Yep, called it. But this one's side scrolling. They just pop out from behind. Yep. Yeah, we got two layers of parallax scrolling. Pretty schnazzy. Yo, hey, they're hot. We have our type at home. Straight up. I swear, there's almost more enemies that come from the back than they do from the front. Giggity. Damn man stuff. Package visually screams quality content. Hey there, Sam. Doesn't it? Like, come on, how could you say no to this? And it's made in America. Dang, I ran right into that. Level two. Yeah, I won't be playing this one for too long. Best game so far in Action 52, I'd have to say probably Mousetrap. Mousetrap was pretty good. So was Ninja. Ninja wasn't bad. Depth Charge is also pretty good. There have been some good ones. I've actually enjoyed some of these quite a bit. The Endless Depth of the Universe, or shall you say, <laughs> two layers of Parallax. Yep. All two layers of the universe. Dang, that hit detection. Level two. Well, last life. Level Double level two, at least. Level three. Oh, there's another decent one called Haunted Hill, which was like a, like a platforming adventure game. Although, unfortunately, that one kind of suffered from weird hit detection as well. A lot of these games suffer from weird hit detection. Damn it! They baited me with that. Funny cat with the stream loose pack. Let me get that real quick. Came from Atari and you dare to say this game looks like shit. <laughs> Come on, it looks better than Atari. Maybe it doesn't play as well, but... I don't think you can say it looks worse. Okay. That was G-Fighter. Man at Arms. Level one. Crossbow? Oh, sick. Tower defense. This I could probably get into. Starting us off easy, I'm sure. I'm sure this is gonna ramp up. We don't, it looks like we have unlimited ammo. Took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> They're all taking arrows to the knee. Sharp shooter over here. Level complete. France versus zombies. Level two. I like that. First tower defense mobile game. <laughs> the very first. This game made history back in 93. Oh, they're moving diagonally now. Oh, that's gonna screw with me. Luckily, it seems like once they move off screen, they're gone. Oh, shit. 
Oh, I done goofed. Waiting for the big dragon to come. This might actually be pretty hard. Going to a wedding, Jay? Nice. Should be a good time. Oh my god, you can't hit. So, while they're still doing their death animation, you can't hit the ones behind them. Oh my god. That makes this way harder. That's gonna make this rough. Shit, I was thinking about beating this one. But, uh, that might not be the case here. Level. We only had two left. Level. Party in an arcade, nice. Doing the reception in an arcade, that's pretty cool. Oh, we got big dudes. Imagine surrendering the moment a single person starts pounding on your castle wall. It's like, yeah, I'm done. Y'all got me. I'm getting some clutch plays. I'm gonna need to with the, um... Yeah, how quick we surrender here. Run going great. Level. We're trying here. Shoot, I think we start with. Did we die? We died twice already, didn't we? Only have a couple more chances. See what I'm saying though about like trying to take a shot behind a guy that's dying? It just doesn't go through. Oh, goddamn. Nope. Shoot. World history. Level four. You have to be a little bit more. I guess my A game isn't good enough. Gotta be even more on it than that. So then they tease me with the ones that run off screen, and so I go over to get them, and then they're gone. Fuck, I missed that. Yep, yeah, it's over. Easy game. I don't think this is very easy, but maybe that's just me. This one seems alright, though. This seems like one of the better ones. What was that? Sharpshooter? No, Man at Arms. That one was solid. I give that one a, uh, one of the better games on the Action 52. Out of 10. Alright, what the hell is Norman? Level one. <laughs> Wait. Oh shit. We're shooting guys with cannonballs. Oh, wait, there's another tank. Norman the tank driver, apparently. <laughs> Why is it Norman? One. Who knows? The world may never know. Like, why do all the other games get, like, generic-ass names? And then this one's just called Norman. Dude walked into a tank and blew it up. Yeah, what a legend. Most agile tank ever, right? Yeah, this game's a little, like, almost too twitchy. It's almost too responsive. Which normally isn't a critique, but, like, for a tank game, you should not be moving this quickly. This is absurd. The schmooviest tank I think I've ever seen. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Dude's foot touched my tank. We blow up. Tank drifting videos exist. That is true. Action 52 verse. I'm not aware of Kadash, really. Oh, damn it. Wait, we completed the level, even though I was about to die. I'll take it. Oh, I 
just ran right into that. Level three. Again, not bad, just weird. I think that's the best way to put this. This one's just strange. I don't know what else to say. Eisenhower would have killed for a tank like that. I think anybody would have. Absurd. Okay, that was Norman. Armor battle. The blue ones are multiplayer, so... It's literally just Norman, but two-player. Good stuff. Get wrecked. <laughs> Well, we tried that one. I'm not gonna sit through. They're they're nine rounds. I'm not gonna sit through nine rounds of shooting the dude. Oh, I didn't even realize. I didn't see that start screen. I I didn't read the the bottom there. The different colors indicate the difficulty of the game. Okay. Not that it really matters. They all feel the same anyway. <laughs> Magic bean. Let's try Magic Bean. Crap, gotta get sleep so I'm sorry. I mean, I guess we could do Cheetah Men like now. I don't know how much of Cheetah Men I'm actually gonna play. Esports material? I kinda like this one. Sure, Crab. Alright. Have a good one, man. Yeah, the VOD will be there. We will definitely get to it. Definitely get to it. Dude, honestly, this, um... <laughs> you could ROM hack this and just change one color and suddenly this would get a lot grosser. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, they're throwing horseshoes at us. The bastards. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say it. We were all thinking it. Like the arcade games in GTAs, they kind of, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, it's like a game you'd see within a video game. Which is pretty much knocking it, but hey, I mean, that's kind of where we're at with these. Level yeah, this one will be easy to beat. We'll beat Magic Bean, I think. Level three. I've got a talent for this one, <laughs> apparently. Don't have to change any color. Yeah, I guess if it's Shrek. You got me there. I didn't consider Shrek. Hundred percent deathless. Yeah, I haven't died yet. I wonder if this one has a speedrun category. Probably. Not. I mean, it's just an auto scroller, pretty much. I think the only thing that would make it quicker is running to the top, right at the end. Level four. Oh, things are moving sideways now. Okay, that's gonna make it a little harder. This <laughs> music. I love it. Ooh, shoe. Horseshoe. All the shoes. This one's got the jams. I love how basic the music- I like, even compared to some of the other games, the music here is very basic. Who is throwing all this shit? Yeah, that's a good question. Who is throwing all this crap? They need to stop. Oh, man.
Sorry, I'm focusing up because I just want to get this. <laughs> I'm like, we can definitely win this one. And it's actually kind of fun. I get a little quieter than normal when I focus up. Yeah, I get a keyboard cat remix going. Horseshoe's trying to get me. They're trying. I'll give them that. I'm just too good for them. <laughs> that sword did almost get me. That one, that one was kind of a close one. I will say, this one probably looks slower than it- oh shit. This one probably looks slower than it actually is. This one plays- oh my god, this one actually does start from the bottom. Fuck, that's a costly mistake. Some of these games will start you like right where you died. Well, there goes Deathless, guys. <laughs> I know, disappointing. Oh my god, dude, there was no way I was gonna avoid that. I had- I had objects to either side and that horseshoe was gonna come in and snipe. I was just unfortunate. See, if I, I feel like some of this is RNG, like, you could get really screwed over. God damn, maybe I won't beat this. Three deaths on level six. Things ramped up. Soundtrack's a Grammy candidate. Deserves a nomination. We'll see how we do here. I'm not sure we're gonna make it all the way through, but... I mean, shocker, the next couple levels are the same thing. Don't think we're gonna. S I don't think we can say we missed anything if we don't get the last two levels done. Level Dude, that six. that bottle near the top almost got me too. Level seven. Yeah, the items are getting a little more crazy. Definitely more shit just flying around. Yeah, they're moving fast. There's faster, there's more of them, and they're going every which way now. I mean, we didn't die. That one seems shorter. Was it just me? Of the Action 52 remakes gonna be announced. Pre-ordered that shit. Oh god, that shoe almost got me. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Last life, by the way, there's I think there's two more stages, including this one. It's typically nine. This is a stage eight. I'm sweating here. Fuck. Yeah. We got it. Bath the winner. That was definitely one of the better ones. Magic Beaming. We got close. Okay, what time is it? Just past 11. What are we on? 44. Okay, we're, we're within the final 10. Ooh, you should have launched with Action 53. It would have been a smash, I'm sure, otherwise. Had they done that. Level Nobody would ask what the hell was the Ouya. They'd be like, ah, oh, yes, the Ouya. My favorite gaming console. And, of course, we got another shmup. Which is, seems 
much easier to die than the, the standard shmup in here. So for the space game and the beanstalk ones are the best. There were some other good ones earlier that I quite liked, actually. Again, I might circle back to Mousetrap and try and do a run or two. What am I getting hit by? I literally don't even know. Okay, that was Apache. <laughs> Fuck it. Paratrooper, this one sounds fun. Oh, this is not what I thought. I was expecting parachuting. What are all these? Oh, I'm supposed to collect them. Yeah, this is not all at all what I thought it was going to be. But this one might be quick and easy to beat. Yeah, why is it called Paratrooper? Yeah, I'll be able to beat this one probably. Ugh. This one's kind of like, this is kind of like the mousetrap one. Do the 16-bit system have bullet hells? I think, isn't Musha supposed to be like... I don't know if that's considered a bullet hell. There's some like, crazy shmups. For sure. Oh, I almost died there. <laughs> so close to getting sniped on that one. Ugh. Oh, the robots are getting crazy. Skynet's going ham. <laughs> Obviously, we parachuted behind enemy lines to steal their TVs. That's what we're stealing. It all makes sense now. Yeah, Musha, Truxton. I've heard of those two. I don't, I'm not sure I'm aware of Thunder Force. Oh my god, that was just unfortunate spawning. No, there were, some, there were some games that got quite a few sprites on screen. Even for 16-bit. Oh my god, damn it. Two lives. Okay, just one more. Oh my god, that was sketch. We got three three levels. No, that was so cheap. Well, last life. God, they just come in hot. That is absurd. Okay, two more. Can I do two more without dying? So much for blast processing. Yeah, these are a little crazy. Holy moly. Yeah, that's like a bit too much. Yeah, game over. That one was fun though. That's like another good one. Anyway, there, Jeremy. That was another solid one. We were close. That's the thing with some of these. You get pretty close, but not quite there. Sky Avengers this can be another shmup. I can almost guarantee. One. I immediately died. <laughs> Level one. How's it going, Jeremy? Can't wait for this to be the selling point of the Mega Drive 2 Mini. They don't announce Action 52. I'm gonna be disappointed. So now we're the ones bombing. Yeah, now we're doing the bombing, apparently. Hopping off cryonic. Have a good one. Thanks for being here. Hopefully see you around.
Oh, did I hit the ground and die? Shit. Game over. Well, that was Sky Avenger. There's too many games like that in this one. So many side-scrolling shooters. I'm like, I just... I'm good. Okay, so we got six and then... Cheat them in. Should be industry standard emulators for every system. And literally anyone can use for commercial use. I mean, I, I guess I can't... I guess I can't say why we shouldn't have that. Okay, this- we were talking about Centipede earlier, this is literally Centipede. A really Space Invader, or any- anything like that, any combination. Riveting. This one literally looks like an NES game. <laughs> like, even more so than some of the others. I think it's the lack of shading on most of the stuff. All the solid colors. Yo, hey there, Jeremy. Yeah, the Christmas lights are a nice touch. I think that's the best thing this game's got going on for it, visually. The music is very menacing, yeah. Yeah, you want to talk about Metallic Genesis music? God damn. It's going pretty damn hard. That was level one. This one's gonna be a tad long, I can already feel it. Yeah, I think that's the, the, the worst part with some of these, is they just, like, don't know when to quit. It's like, alright, nine levels, but, like, if you're gonna make it nine levels, I'd make it, like, a snappy nine levels. Especially if... If they almost all pretty much play the same between levels. Yeah, at least in this one, we actually got different music for level two. Level complete. This one I might beat just by virtue of how easy it is so far. I'm assuming I'm assuming we get hit if they hit the bottom of the screen. Can you even die in this? Again, I'm yeah, I think I think it probably you have to hit the bottom of the screen. The enemies that is. But I mean, there's no reason we can't just spam Orphan Snoods. Yeah, I don't know. Unless this ramps up, like, considerably, I think it's gonna be pretty hard to die. Yeah, that, see, that frog actually got kind of close. I let him get close. So I'm pretty sure that's it. You get over here, frog. All these damn levels. Yeah, right? Never have I felt like nine levels is so long. For what is such a short game, in all reality. This one's pretty easy, if you just rock back and forth and keep shooting, like, you have it. <laughs> 468 levels, yeah, that would be for every... Yeah, if you wanted to beat every game. I mean, I'm assuming I've played at least 100, you know, all told. Like I said, we, we've beat, what, two games? We got close on a few of them. Like, almost might as well have beaten it, but just not quite. Like, Ninja, we got really close. Magic Bean, we got pretty close. Challenges, just unlimited levels, Comet? Oh my god. 
So it is like NES Remix, right? Do they, it's just like a mix of games and it just keeps going. But like every level it changes. That's my guess. Yeah, this one just wants to keep going. I'm like almost ready to just quit out of boredom on this one. It's like, I think we've mastered it, game. I think we've mastered it. There's only so much you can do here. That's level five. Dude, there's still four more. It is playable. It's very playable. It's almost too playable is the problem. There's not enough going on to make it challenging. Game 51's the first game. Play it till I die. The thing is, I probably won't die. We'll probably beat this one. If I had to guess here. I guess we're already over halfway. I should just stick with it. Finish it off to say we beat another game on here. <laughs> Level complete. Look at that, three more levels. Blazing through it, blistering quick. It is 51, not 52. Those liars. All right, number 52 is the challenge mode, right? Which is, if it just, oh my God, that frog? Level seven. Okay. Okay. That was out of nowhere. Oh, now they're all just falling immediately. Okay. <laughs> this is what I get for smack talking the game, I see. Holy shit. Yeah, no, the game's getting crazy now. See, they should have started this a little sooner. This is what the game's about. You can't, what? No, we're gonna get this close and then die to this stupid nonsense? Yeah, like my reaction time is not that good. I like how the game just really went like, oh, you said the game was too easy now, didn't you? It's like, bruh, I meant like make it playable. Can you duck? Nope. No ducking. Once they hit the bottom, it's over. It's like Space Invaders. Okay, that's level seven. We have two more two more levels, two more lives. God, I'm scared for levels eight and nine now. I have to be on my A game for these last two. Nope, are dead. Can't shoot sideways. Oh my god. Master with the bits. Well, this is last life. It seems random when they like fall all the way too. It's like total RNG. So I'm basically just gonna have to go back and forth to the very edges because that's like where the only spot they actually seem to do that. Oh, or not. Wow, that is like actually unfair. Well, that was Sharpshooter. We got one level off of beating it. What a rip. That was game was stupidly easy for like six stages. Karma, I guess. That's what I get for calling it too easy. But let's be real, the first two thirds of that game were too easy. Meteor, this is probably gonna be Another shmup. And this one doesn't even scroll, we just chill in place. If we miss a certain amount, do we fail or like what? 
Or just hitting. <laughs> Jinxing for content. I didn't know it was gonna take such a turn. I mean, come on, that game was borderline, like, comatose for the first six stages. This would have killed Missile Command, if only. That's what I say every time. Am I wrong? No, that one in particular was insanely stupidly easy for so long. And then suddenly, it changed. Yeah, how's this one gonna get insane? <laughs> I guess I should expect it now. Games tend to get harder toward the end. Yeah, but usually there's a difficulty ramp, man, stuff. You know this. You know this as well as I do. Typically the game subtly ramps up the difficulty. It doesn't it doesn't stick to baby's first video game for six stages. And then the last three just crank it to eleven. Remind me when I, I realize what I'm playing. <laughs> Level that's I, that's bullshit even for a jank game like this. Level 52 games, they had to cut the budget up. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Had to make ends meet somewhere. Yeah, this is a weird mix of like, get as many as you can, but avoid them. I don't know. This one's strange. Only level four. <laughs> level five. Would you like this to be 300 MSRP, or should we ship it? I mean, I feel like that's honestly like a pretty common thing in the gaming industry. It's like, okay, how much money do we have to spend on this game? How much time is it gonna take? When do we need to ship it? What sacrifices are we willing to make? Yeah, you'd think, like, with all the meteors I'm missing, like, we'd fail, but I guess not. I guess it's just hit a certain amount and not die. Oh, actually, almost got hit there. Complete. A little close. Level seven. Yo, hey there, Master Welsh. Yeah, this one's going pretty well. We're most of the way through sampling all these. I gotta say, what a time it's been. I honestly don't regret this. This has been a very interesting and honestly eye-opening experience. I don't think this is really as bad as everybody says it is. Is it bad? Of course. But like, there's some playable, there's like, I, I'm not gonna go as far as to call them gems on here. But there's some fun mini games on here. Gotta play the original, yeah, now I gotta hit the NES version. Then everybody will really have a heart attack. Okay, we're close to done on this one. Might beat this one. It looks like homebrew. It does look like a homebrew. <laughs> I mean, like all, honestly, for all intents and purposes, I don't know. Can this can be be considered a homebrew? I don't know what how big the team was that worked on this, but I can't imagine it was huge. I 
Especially with how many repeats there are, it, it honestly does feel like just like a small team of like maybe a few people made this. Alright, last level meteor. Level nine. I don't think I've died once. This one's definitely a tad on the uh, the easier side. Oh, it's starting to speed up though. I can literally see the slowdown. <laughs> Too many meteors on screen. Too much for the Genesis to handle. Oh yeah, the homebrews for Genesis now. Yeah, they're crazy goddamn good. Yeah, some of the top tier ones. Level. Easy. Meteor beaten. There we go. Cross another one off the list. Um, I am not beating all of these, by the way, for anybody coming in. Mostly here to sample, but I have beat a handful of them. Getting slowed down a flashback when there was a bunch of animations happening at once. Ah. So we've got Black Hole and the boss. And then what the hell's first game? And then challenge. So we got four more, and then we still haven't done Cheetahman yet. I'm gonna do Cheetahman last here. Black hole? Yeah, maybe pinball? No, but it's another space shooter. Because we needed another space shooter. <laughs> We haven't had enough space shooters. Man, I was talking about being anti-fighting games. Honestly, what there was one fighting game on here is a boxing game. And it was two players, so it was basically basically sit and mash. I'm gonna have to write off shmups for a bit after this. Never enough shmups. Apparently, according to this game, there's never enough. Yeah, we've got an enterprise ripoff. Complete the effect. Maybe one of the nicer looking ones? I mean, they've all looked okay. It's Playability's been hit or miss. This one seems fine. It's not bad, it's just I don't see why we need so many. Especially when so many of them play so similarly. Probably just to, probably just to uh, boost that that number up to 52 is my guess. Level two. That's the Excelsior, damn it. 52. Yeah, you gotta get up to that 52 somehow. I didn't I didn't do a count, but I'm I'm guessing like at least 20 space shooters. I think it's probably somewhere in the 20 range. If not a little bit more. Like, all right, game, we get it. I can shoot. <laughs> I don't know if I want to sit through nine levels of this one. Level three. I was okay with it on Meteor. Maybe I won't have a choice. Maybe they'll kill me. <laughs> we can hope, right? This is totally different. This one, the screen's moving. Right? Therefore, inherently, it's different. It, it moves very weirdly, yeah. Just kind of like random movements. And it really, I don't think it, it doesn't affect the other enemies, does it? So it's, it's really just the background scrolling around. With no real rhyme or reason. It doesn't affect gameplay whatsoever, it's just there visually. Hey, I actually died, look at that.
almost debating just suiciding so we can move on to the next one. Would have been what the fuck if this is something you bought by blindly, yeah. Again, if I could get this for like five, ten bucks, it would be kind of funny to have in the collection, but this game goes for hundreds of dollars. Like absurd kinds of money. And I'm like, for for what really here? Collectors are willing to spend crazy money on shit they probably won't even play. This game was just, yeah, it's it's rare. Like Sark said, it's rare. Yeah, so people will spend money on it if it's rare. I mean, this game is pretty rare because probably no, almost nobody bought it at the time. Yeah, and rare games tend to be the worst because exactly. Like if they were good, they would have sold well. There's the occasional like uncommon or rare game that's actually very good, but uh, it's it's not a not a common occurrence. So we died there, but the level ended. So we actually didn't die there. Let's get a little crazy. I mean, I don't know who's going to have emotional value about this game. I don't know, maybe maybe an emotional in terms of anger. Heading off, Kreb. Have a going, Kreb. Sorry I didn't quite get the cheetah men. We were close, though. We were close. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. I honestly don't feel like I wasted my night here. I don't regret this decision. Level... I got to try out what is wildly considered one of the worst games ever and actually had some fun with it to me that's a win watch some cheetah girls clips instead bull ice cream some cheetah girls the feels is not where this game would be hitting you yeah, same here. Not quite. Okay, two more levels. Probably far from the worst game. Yeah, it's it's a lot of it's mediocre. That is that is fair to say. A lot of it is mediocre. There's some there's some diamonds in the rough, perhaps. But yeah, admittedly, those are kind of few and far between. But like I said, I've, I've, I've had worse streams. Like, this has been a fun stream. I've played games that are considered better that I enjoyed less. Mediocres are ever... Come on, most of these games land in the mediocre zone. Some of them do land in the bad zone, but I'd say a large majority of these just land in kind of the kind of the D tier. Rather play this than the uncanny X-Men, just saying. For Genesis, you don't know. I mean I'm not I'm not too familiar with the Genesis library, so I can't say too much. Shit. Or in the last Last level, last life. Let's get, oh, fuck. Fucked it up. Damn it, I was so close, dude. So close. If this was Master System, it would still be below mediocre. Yeah, I guess I'm having a hard time connecting it specifically with the Genesis. Yeah, because, I mean, graphically, it is far below the bar. That is fair. Wait, that was Black Hole. What is the boss? Level the boss. One. It's a- it's what, a crocodile with a fucking... Fedora? Wait, what is the goal here? Grab the money? Yes, okay. CDI- yeah, kinda CDIS. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is literally just collect the money. Wait, what? Level one. I got robbed. I love the entirely random spawning of the money. Sometimes it'll spawn right next to where you just picked it up. Oh, no, no, no. The extortion money. This is sub NES graphics. Yeah, yeah, this one looks pretty bad. I don't know, I'm just being charmed by this game. I'll, I'll admit, I'm not being the most unbiased here. This game is weirdly charming me. <laughs> Take care, master. Thanks for stopping by. Falls into so bad it's good. Yeah, it kinda does. This is, and it's the kind of bad that's like honestly fun to play still. Level complete. Level two. Yeah, the look of the enemies are nice. I mean, again, though, it's like, I mean, this has got a point. Like, this didn't need to be on Genesis. Most of these games do not even, do not even attempt to look 16-bit. Except for maybe for some of them with the parallax scrolling, maybe. Oh shit. <laughs> Zero frame death animation too, yeah. Vibing with the sprites, yeah, I'm vibing with the sprites. That one was, I, I kinda like that one. I kinda like that one. That was the boss. That was another one of the better ones. Just for the, just for the, I don't know, it won me over. First game. Level one. Oh my god. Well, this is a two player. It's literally fucking Pong. <laughs> I guess it is the first game. They're not wrong. <laughs> Level three. Well, let's beat the first game just to say we beat it. Let's beat the first game in history. Level Space War is the first. Is it actually? I know Tennis for Two often gets gets denoted as like the first game. But that could be wrong. Oh shit. I lost against <laughs> the non-moving player. You bastard. Level <laughs> seven. Easy. Level eight. Level First Atari eight. game. Well, that would be true. Look at that, we won. <laughs> Space War 1962. Wasn't Tennis for Two 1958 though, Mansta? In all fairness, I believe Tennis for Two was 1958. Which would predate that by four years. Okay, what the hell's challenge? Complete the most difficult level of every game in random order and become an action 52 game master. Oh shit, they don't fuck around. This is kind of cool. I actually like this idea. I'm immediately gonna fail though. <laughs> you only get three lives. Wait, so you have to play... 52 levels straight with the same amount of lives that you get. Level that is absurd. Nine. So we get to random sample random level nines. I guess honestly, if I just beat the challenge mode, I guess that's technically beating the game, right? Because I would have beaten every hardest level. This would be the ultimate test. Can you beat Action 52? And the platoon style death animation. Yeah, we played this one earlier. This was a fun one. I mean, we played all these earlier, obviously. We're at the end. Other than Cheetah Men. 
Which, shoot, I should probably go and play here. We, we had to save the best for last. Well, I beat Ninja level 9. Level nine. Oh, you get. Wait a minute. Oh, I could tot. Oh, fuck. It's this one again. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I'm not. <laughs> I was about to say I could totally do this until that showed up. But if you get replenished lives, that actually would be very doable. Only one speedrun for a lot of these. Sark. I'm actually gonna speedrun Mousetrap, which actually has seven runners. Quitter. I'm sorry, I can't do the slider puzzles. Ain't happening. Tennis for two. Yeah, that's the one I know about. That's to me, that's that's what I've always heard is the first video game, tennis for two. Okay, cheetah men. Let's go guys. Cheetah men and then I might I might try a couple speedruns. Oh. Right, it's an oscilloscope. What should still- I mean, it's still a video game. Okay, fucking Cheetah Men, let's go. Visually looks a lot better than the NES. Look at that, we've got some verticality to the stages. Fancy. <laughs> Tennis for Two is literally older than our parents. Actually. Level one. Dude, I don't know if I'll get past level one. <laughs> you know, this one has such a reputation. And I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. I think it's really the NES version of Cheetah Men that's considered, like, the one. What bat? Level one. Okay. Thanks, game. That's fine. It's one of those games. Yeah, a lot of these games are one of those. Sorry. That extra life or something? I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, they, they all kind of do this shit. Okay, bat, you want to come back at me? You're too scared now. Where'd he go? Okay, fine. Well, that's a dead end anyway. It's like 52 snowflakes, everyone with, a, with its own unique things. Precisely. What is the point of all these areas? Where's my linear beat-em-up, damn it? Oh, fucking Rhino! <laughs> Right. <laughs> of course. Why did I not expect that? I don't know. But yeah, the screen scrolling. I have to go to the edge of the screen to get it to scroll. I think this is actually one of the worst games on here. They need to remake this. Yeah, Action 52 is like a box of chocolates where like three quarters of them are actually trash. Wow. Dude, I might not even be able to beat level one of Cheetah Men. Or maybe, maybe not able is not the right terminology. It's more like don't want to. <laughs> level one. I'm gonna speed run some fucking mousetrap instead. so awkward. Yeah, because I don't want to go to the edge of the screen, right, and get hit by a bat. 
So I have to like scroll the screen over and then move. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? Level one. Level one. Do I have to get all the little, like... Is it baby cheetahs in cages? Is that what those are supposed to be? Bat again. Cheetah men boss and I want to be the boshy. A game on PC. I want to be the boshy. What the hell is that? Never heard of that. They threw like a cheetah men reference into it. The bat got me again. Dude, I don't know how much of this I can actually do. I thought I was at least going to be able to beat the first stage, but I don't know if that's possible. One of the most frustrating troll games in existence. Fun. The fucking bat, dude. I this feels unplayable. One. Cheetah man's the stream. There you go. Yeah. A cheat code stream would be kind of fun. That means I won't play it. <laughs> Saving me from hell on earth. Make it sound like a bad thing, Ramen. I'll try this one more time. I'm sorry for those that were expecting a little more Cheetah Men, but I don't know if I've got this in me. This is pretty bad. I'd rather, I'd, I honestly, I'd rather play a lot of the games on here than this. This just hurts. Okay, careful. Dude, you can literally see the one enemy on the left hand side of the screen like popping out the right side. You see that? Broken video game. Bat, what? Are you kidding me? Did the bat hit me or did the... I don't even know. I don't even know. Somehow this is the worst game on here. Like almost, maybe not the worst, but like actually toward the bottom. <laughs> oh my God. Level one. Echo, okay, yeah, Echo is pretty fucking bad. That might be the worst one. Cause they somehow made Simon annoying to play, which takes some skill, honestly. No, damn it. What? <laughs> uh, game, I died. Wait, what? Okay, I'm not dead, but I can't move left or right, and I can't grab the vine. See, not only is it toward the bottom of Action 52, it's actually broken. I can say, you know, say what you will about the other games in this set. At least those function. This one doesn't even function properly. Holy shit, dude. Not produced or under licensed from Sega. Thank Lord. You am become dev. <laughs> All right. Since the game glitched out on us, I'll give it one more go. I'm really worried I'm gonna have to get everything in this level. And I'm definitely not doing that. Duh. 
the freaking bats, dude. I'm just waiting to play more Mousetrap at this point. <laughs> Simpler times. I knew he was coming, dude. I was trying to bait him out. Level one. Ugh, oh, this is this is actually horrendous. See, this is why I'm using real hardware. I could take the world record. I don't want the world record in Cheetah Man. I will take the world record in Mousetrap. Or one of many of the other games that are more fun than this. This is this is actually no wonder people think this game is shit. You know, they think Cheetah Man, that sounds cool, and then they play it, and this is, it's, it's one of the worst games on here. I can honestly say that. Oh, what, you're saying I could get the record if I save stated? <laughs> Practice and save state. I am not dedicated enough. For a game this bad. Okay, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to get all of these, dude. Okay, so we got the far right ones. Oh, this is gonna be something. I, I should probably try and beat the first stage of this, just to say I have. Honestly, the NES version of this looks more fun. This is one of those cases where, like, Upgrading it actually made it worse. Level one. Oh, a separate category? I mean, honestly, in, in cases like the Genesis and the NES, like, it's a little overkill. Because the emulators are so accurate, there's no point. It's a little bit more of a problem on something like PS2. It is not very common for boards to get split like that. Especially for earlier systems. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, do I want to try and beat this? What am I going to gain from beating the first level of Cheetah Men? One more, one more shot. That's it. That's it. If I die, I mean, we're going to die. These enemies are bullshit. We're going to die. But I can at least say I tried. Oh yeah, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a carbon copy. I can almost guarantee. Yeah, it's gonna be the same. I think we can all be proud we made it through tonight. Yeah, it does take, take some dedication. Are you, I hit him. Yeah, no, this is bullshit. It's hard for us as it was for me. I don't know, can it? No, I actually probably was worse for some of you. I actually kind of, I dug parts of this, this evening. I, I don't regret playing this tonight. I really don't. Because I haven't forced myself to stick to one, right? There were so many games to, you know, to sample and attempt. They're like, oh shit, I'm not having fun with one? Just move on. Move on. So it worked for me. <laughs> yeah, this game's bullshit though. This this is legit one of my least favorite in the entire set. Which is unfortunate because Cheetah Men is like what this is known for. All right, we have one life left. Can I make it on one life? Probably not. It may not have been seven sins. Fucking seven sins, dude. Oh my god, I thought it was all the way up it. Yeah, no, we're done with Cheetah Man. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, Mousetrap. Let me just grab my live split. Um, from here.
We're gonna play a little bit more of a game called Mousetrap. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. I did not mean to have the uh, layout set up like that, but it looks quite neat. Thanks, Yamaha, for making the music okay tonight. Yeah, thank God. All right. Um, we're gonna try and run this. The record is a minute 40. Second place is a minute 44. Second and third are a minute 44. Fourth is a minute 49. So for podium placement, we gotta get a minute 44. We'll see how this goes. We'll give it a shot. Level one. Fuck, I already died. <laughs> World record's a minute 40 flat. One. Just about. Level complete. We'll, we'll take deaths for now. Level see where we get. Level complete. Yeah, minute forty, that's fast. Level three. Oh, into the cat. Need an RNG emote. I don't know what that would look like. But yeah, we deal with it enough, it would probably be worthwhile. But yeah, this was definitely one of the highlights from from tonight just because it moves so quickly and it's satisfying to play Level. Animated dice roll It'll be quite the animated emote. I'll have to look into something like that Level five. Damn that cat dude. Well, we game over it Not a great first attempt what can you do? Probably gonna take some tries. But that's okay. Level one. That was good. I feel pretty confident on that one. That was a solid quick round. Ooh, that was nice. That was really good. Level three. Ah, shit. Level One piece three. of cheese left. One lonely piece of cheese. Dang it. Level um, usually three. save states are banned. For the, exactly that reason, man, stuck, because you can RNG manip. Yeah, that's usually banned in speedruns. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Level complete. Damn you. Level five. Just see where we end up. We're gonna have to do some attempts, but... Level that was clean. Level six. Dang! Level six. Well, we're already at minute 30. Level complete. Level yeah, not quite world record pace. Damn cat, the slow cat fucked me up. Game over. Shoot. I think this will be satisfying when we get it, but it's gonna be a little bit of work. It's gonna be a little bit of work. A little bit of hoping and praying. Level one. It is what it is. I moved a little bit too early on that. Level complete. Level two. That was pretty good. Pretty good. I feel like, again, it's optimizing movement's gonna be a big part of this. Like, I left out like one cheese behind, I had to go back a little bit. Like, stuff like that's gonna add up really fast. Oh, shit. 
Level four. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, probably too many deaths. I probably overestimated my abilities on this. But we'll still try. Even if even if my time isn't the best, I'll probably submit at least something. I'd prefer though to get something with no deaths at the very least. Which I think is doable. I can creep on the board, that's true. Yeah, I don't I don't think me getting the world record is gonna happen tonight. Unless I just get crazy good at the game very fast, but you never know. Shit can happen. I don't know, maybe I should like take a quick peep at theirs. See if they've got an attempts counter at all. They do not have a counter for attempts. Their sum of best is a minute 32, though. And they got a minute 40, so technically there's at least 8 seconds to save. From that run. But yeah, they even had splits set up for each level, which I'm obviously not doing quite yet. That was unlucky cat spawning, oh my god. <laughs> level one. That was unfortunate. Yo, hey, there's sign to speak. How's it going? We have we have officially now sampled everything on Action 52, and I'm crazy enough to try some speedruns. Level two. <laughs> Level Gonna get some sleep tails, that's no worries. Thanks for being here. Level Have a good one. Three. Oh, that last piece. I didn't even see the last piece of cheese up toward the top. Level four. That was fast. I don't think you get much faster than that for that one. Level five. I think I was gonna say my play was gonna be counterclockwise, but not on that one. Level that was slow. That was definitely a little slow. The Royal Sampler. Level seven. I don't know, like I said, I really don't regret this evening at all. I think tonight was fun. Level seven. Again, not the greatest game, I'm not saying that. But come on. We had we had some fun times in here. Dang, I game over. Level seven again. I won't try this for too long. I'm definitely not gonna like go snoods on this. <laughs> I'm not gonna go that hard, but Level complete. No, it is not something you see streamed often, which was part of the reason I wanted to stream it because I'm like who in their right mind streams action 52 I'm like I'll be the guy I'll be in the right mind at least snooze is fun. Oh, this is fine ramen classic ramen That was really good. Level. Just look at mouse trap. The game. It looks like Pac-Man. Not this. This is mouse trap within Action 52 specifically. Level complete. Okay, that was solid. Level five. Level complete. Can you buy this soul? I don't think you can get this on its own, unfortunately. If only. Okay, this is going pretty well. Three more levels. Shit. Oh my god. Two more levels. Mm -hmm. 
No, damn it. Oh, and there, it's spread out the cheese. Killer. All right, last level. This will be an okay first time, I think. Assuming we don't die again. Oh, shit. A little late on that split. 158. That's not terrible. Unfortunately, that's last. <laughs> By three seconds. That would put me in eighth place. We need to save about 18 seconds. But yeah, that's a that's a PB, I guess. First time, at least. I think a death cost us like at least four seconds, if not more. Submit it. I mean, I'm gonna keep trying. We're not done yet. Level four. I'm not calling it yet. I mean, this is all this is the this is all I have planned for the rest of the stream. So. <laughs> I figure we can do it better than that. All right, here we go. Level one. Level complete. Level two. Level complete. Decent. Could have been a little better. Level three. Trying to optimize movement can be a little tough, especially when the cats are in the way at the top. Gotta submit every P. That, that's that's overkill, if you ask me. Level complete. <laughs> the world record progression. Except I'm far behind where the record's at. There's, uh, to me, there's no reason to submit every single one. I've never done that. Level four. Cause like, how many times do you PB when you're running a game? Like, if I submitted every single one, that'd be kind of absurd. And plus, that's more work for the mods to do. Like, I don't mod this board. I'm not gonna inundate them with a bunch of runs all at once. Every champion has a backstory. I'm not saying they start at the top. I mean, I'll submit what the whatever the best run I have tonight is. That's typically what I do. Submit the best run of a night. I usually don't submit more than more than one from a single evening. Well, that was unfortunate. Yeah, the top time's 140 and 200 milliseconds. Do I think I'll ever do an Amigo wheel? Probably not. But I can't say never. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I feel already so busy with everything I've, else I've got going on. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many more wheels I can get set up. Level complete. But yeah, we'll see. Level two. Like I said, never say never. Damn cat. Level complete. An A500 mini? Is there an Atari? Wait, is that Atari 500? Do they have a mini for that? Level complete. That was really good. Level four. Level. Oh, come on, cats. <laughs> Probably lost about a second or two on that one. Level five. That I could notice. Oh, come on, that slow cat got me. Level five. Yeah, no, there's definitely... This whole cart has Amiga vibes. Level <laughs> definitely some Amiga vibes. Level six. Shoot, what was my PB? I already forgot what it was. 150... Was it 158? Yeah, it was 158. Yeah, it's the cheese on the edge. It's like you're literally dancing with fire here. Well, we're about to game over again. Tough little video game. 
Level eight. They developed this on a Mac LC. Amazing. Well, I'm already already slower than my PB, and we just game over it. Yeah, these boards don't mess around. Let me just tell you. Clearly, the people that have run this have put some effort into it. One. No, that was shit. Level one. It's friggin' sixty-eight twenty. I don't know. I don't know too too much about computers from that era, so I don't know exactly how ancient. I'm assuming it's somewhat ancient for the time. This is already going horribly. Level complete. Oh, it's 280. Okay, I at least know what a 286 is. Level complete. Also, already slow. <laughs> Level. Yeah, I won't do this for too long because I'm already feeling it's gonna be reset heavy. So I won't. I won't beat everybody over the head with this, but. I do want to see if I can at least get a, like a okay time on here. Even if I could get fourth, which is a 149, that would be decent. I'd take a fourth place here. 6830 aligned with a 386. 6840, okay, I see. All right, here we go. Tries again. Level one. Level. That was good. I think I did about as well as I could there, considering how the Level cheese spawned. Two. That was good as well. Complete. That was nice and fast. Level three. Level complete. I feel like that could have been a little bit more optimized compared to what Level I did, but... Decent attempt. That was nice. That was really nice. Level five. Okay. Complete. Level six. Damn quick cat over there. No! Man! Level six. We were doing so well. Level complete. Level yeah, and the thing is when you die, like, there's a considerable chunk of time it takes to get back up and running. Level complete. What, I get a 158? Level eight. That's what we're trying to beat, at least right now. Ah, oh, the fucking cats. Level eight. Oh my lord. It's like right when I go up there, they suddenly all spawn in. Level complete. Well, we're not being beaten here. Level nine. Level okay, that would have been time. I was like, yeah, what, eight seconds slower than my last? Got some work to do. It's two deaths. Like, those are clearly the time losses. Any death is gonna be rough. Because the screen pops up and it's gotta say level whatever. That's probably like three, four seconds at least every time we die. But yeah, that wasn't a terrible run. Action 52 speedruns, maybe, A Rock, maybe. It's just this was like one of the better games on there. And it's so quick to beat, it's kind of fun. I'm like, you know what? Let's try it. Why the hell not? Wow, that was far from optimal. <laughs> Level two. That was really bad. I like that we joked about it and this is actually a thing. No, it is. There's seven runners for this damn category. Like, it's not nothing. I'm gonna reset here. 
Seven runners for like, you know, what's considered a joke game within a joke game. That's, that's pretty substantial. Three threads in the discussion boards for Action 52 and two of them were about adding categories for this game. <laughs> yeah, this game is just that good. It's it's the best it's the best category it's the best game in here for speedrunning. Like I can just tell immediately once I played it I could tell. Oh this sucks. Level one. It's just unfortunate so much of the cheese is like off to the sides. Oh yeah, there's categories for yeah, there's Cheetah Men, Meteor, Black Hole, Puzzle, 15 Puzzle, Sharpshooter. Ninja, I, I'm attempted, I'm, I'm somewhat tempted to try. There's only one run for Ninja. So literally just beating the game would be a run. Second place. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Not gonna push myself too hard here. Oh, come on, all the cats. That was so slow. Bad RNG on that one. There was, there was literally nothing I could do on that. Come on. Get in my way. Oh. What are the odds? The only cat, the first cat. The first cat on the entire screen happens to run right where I'm at. Shit. Looking why the name was Action 52. Base template for the game's code was ripped from a 52 in 1 pirate cart. That's hilarious. Yo, hey there, Derek. Welcome in. Yeah, why 52? It does make you wonder. Why 52 games? All right, let's try this again. Yo, hey there, Hanny. You guys have been brainwashed. I swear to God, everybody's come in here saying like, oh God, why? This is fun. I'm gonna say it, it's fun. Y'all can believe me or not, but have I been doing this the whole time? Yes. We've sampled every game on the Action 52 at this point. 52 is the number of success, of course. Kind of fun in the same way a mobile or flash game might be fun. Yeah, those could be fun. Again, I just I find I find it funny the blind hatred. Are we speed running flash games? I don't even have flash games ready to go per se. Is that a challenge? Level complete. Level two. I mean, I really do feel like there's like a, a weird blind hatred for these. Basically, mostly stemming probably from the AVGN video of the NES version. Like, again, I'm not going to defend this game, but the idea that it's like not worth playing at all, I don't fully agree with. There's some okay little fun, like, bite sized games on here. Mostly unplayable. Maybe the NES version is? But I think even that one, I think most of the games work. You know, they might not be good, but I think most of them work. Cheetah Men is broken on NES. Everybody thinks about Cheetah Men, like, instantly. Oh, the fucking cat got me. I had a weird hunch there that that was gonna happen. Yeah, that's a reset. Yeah, that's gonna be the shitty thing about this run, is that it's gonna be super reset heavy. And I think whoever ran this before, whoever has the world record, I think probably played this a lot.
I think the, the, the thing with this one is a lot of the games are like admittedly mediocre. Level one. But I don't know, there's there's a couple diamonds in the rough. Ah, <sighs> shit. Yeah, who knows how long I'm gonna go at this for. <laughs> I thought, ah, this won't be that hard. I was wrong. Yeah, I think a lot of people aren't aware of this version. And they just see Action 52 and they're like, ah, oh, it must be bad. And again, it's not good. They're very basic games. A lot of them don't take advantage of the hardware that they're on. Yeah, they, they kind of look like classroom projects. God, I had to waste some major time here just with the cat spawning. Probably lost five seconds there. If I had to guess. Teach their own. Exactly. Teach their own. I just, I get a little tired of when people, like, hear about a game from, like, an AVGN video or something, and they, like, instantly assume it's, like, one of the worst things out there. And I'm like, there's some truth to AVGN's videos, but a lot of times he hyperbolizes. Like, let's not, let's not joke here. A lot of times he's playing it up. And I'm, I'm fine with somebody being like, oh, I've heard this is bad from that AVGN video, but people come in, like, trying to state facts, like, yeah, this game is, like, the worst, and I'm like, you probably never even played it. Yeah, I mean, AVGN, yeah, at the end of the day, is a filmmaker, first and foremost, I mean... I think he can review video games, but, again, he's trying to entertain. So he's gonna, he's gonna hyperbolize. Level eight. That's like his thing, which is fine. Level complete. Some of the games he Level played don't seem all that bad. That also, yeah, I've seen him play some games and like just absolutely shred them. And it's like, they're really not, they're not that bad. Level nine. Again, he's, he's trying to entertain more than anything. The, uh, the original retail, I can see getting on this for the, the OG retail price, but like, I'm not paying that. <laughs> and I think most people on this planet didn't buy this game. So like, not that many people got ripped off to begin with. Um, and now the collector's market is crazy for it. Yeah, I don't recommend buying this game. Sort of like, I'm trying to be entertaining by pretending this is good enthusiastically. I can't just like my jank video games, apparently. Fortnite, that's what I said earlier. I'm like, I'd pay $4.99 for this. Level complete. Level two. King of jank. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the king. I don't know, there's certain jank I can't play anymore. I'll be honest. Level complete. Most people, yeah, most people, that's the thing that bothers me, is when people just, like, take the AVGN videos as face value, and they try to pass it like it's fact. I can understand saying, like, I don't like this, or I don't like that, or I think, I think this is bad. But when it's, like, I, I throw this on, and everybody's like, oh god, why, oh god, why, and I'm like, guys, let's just try it, before we jump to conclusions. I mean, not every video game was Buffalo Diarrhea, believe it or not. Stand by your oh god why. I mean, have I seemed like I've been having a bad time? Oh shoot, that cat. Imagine forming an opinion of a game by, <laughs> based on actually playing it. Yeah, I know. Crazy concept. Dang it, that was a good run up until then.
Same with movies. Yeah, like, I, I take reviews, you know, as a general indicator. But I've, I've never been like, oh god, this, the reviews are so bad for this. Like, I'm just gonna assume it's bad without having seen it first. Yeah, a lot of the LJN games ABGN did videos on, those actually look decent enough to me. Like, Friday the 13th, Jaws, um, a couple others. Again, he's, he's trying to entertain more than anything, so he's gonna, he's gonna play stuff up. That's just the way it goes. That's what people respond to. Level complete. Level two. That cat. Oh my god. Level. Yeah, maybe I'll try the ninja one instead. We'll see. I want to get a run for one of these up. Pretty stoked when you beat the Friday the 13th game recently. Had no idea what was going on. YouTube actually got you through it. Yeah, no, that game looks decently complex from what I saw of you playing it. Like, it's not the most straightforward video game ever. Hundred percent needed tutorial. Super obtuse, is it? Oh my god, these cats. What did I get a 158? Again, I'm hoping for like a 149 or eight, because that would put me in fourth. It'd at least be like middle of the pack here. Complex but not bad. Yeah, and I think people. I mean, it's it's like I was getting when I um when I was playing Driver the other the other week. Playing through Driver two, and everybody's like, "Oh my god, there's a tutorial in the first game." It's like, yeah, it's difficult, but like if you knew what to do, it's not that bad. And I think it just has this, like, mythos because, you know, if you rented the game and didn't have the manual, it's like, yeah, you were kind of screwed on that. Level complete. Level two. Tutorial Island. Yeah, now games feel the need to handhold you through everything. Shoot. Every game in this is nine staged, by the way. I was at least getting to like seven, eight before having some trouble. Jaws is simple enough I can figure it out from chat. Wouldn't even have to look it up. I don't know if I'll try Friday the 13th. I'll probably someday. Not sure when that'll be though. All right, I'll give this a couple more tries and then maybe I'll switch to Ninja because that one I could see myself finishing. And that one only has one run on the boards. It's like six minutes or something. Level two. Damn it. That was slow. But we're alive. Watch this tutorial a couple times. Took you two Friday the 13th to beat it. Ooh, nice. Have I s uh, no, I haven't played any of this game until tonight. And I just, I sampled this one, and I'm like, this one's fun to play. Let's try and run it. That was literally my thought process. <laughs> it's like, you know what? This game is fast. And it's kind of satisfying. I'm sure this would make a good run. And lo and behold, it's like the most run game on this, on this cartridge. Like of all the categories for this game, this is like the most run one. So clearly, I wasn't the only one thinking the same thing. Okay, we have three more. I'm a little slow. Some of these cats have been getting in my way. Like, there! I thought I was around them. The hitboxes in this game are kind of big. As far as I know, you can't skip these text boxes. I don't know, maybe I should watch the other runs just to verify that you can't. Okay, one more level. 
Yeah, I, I think a lot of the problems people have is it's just simple. And I'm like, simple's not inherently bad. That was, that was probably a slight PB. I got 158 last time. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick peek at... Take a quick peek at this. Yeah, you can't skip the text boxes. I don't know, even in this guy's run, he had to like circle back for a couple cheeses. So I think that's doable. The death is causing me to lose quite a bit of time. Cause again, we have to like wait for those text boxes. Thank you for the GG's guys. RNG, my favorite part of speed running. That was really good. Man, it's the for the luck bits. Solid start. That was great. That was fantastic. Level three. That was good considering the cat being in the way. <laughs> Level Wasn't much else I could do on that. Oh, come on. Level four. See what I have to deal with. Level complete. Level five. I don't know, I feel like the beginning was so good, like even with the death. Ah, never mind. Level it's getting the cheeses around. Like I always go for the ends first, because I'm like, I just don't want to deal. Man. It's a killer. It's a killer. The damn edges. I don't know, is there any kind of strat, like, other than maybe waiting to get cats to spawn? And then going for them? Yeah, honestly, this, this record run seems improvable by, like, an okay margin. If I could just get there and not die. Try this for a little bit longer. Again, time to beats 140, my PB's 158. So we gotta save about 18 seconds. And I think 10 of that's just deaths. I think in all of my runs, we've had two deaths. All of the completed runs have had two deaths. I taste blood. That's one of those things where you just like, you know you can do it and you wanna do it. I'm like, come on, we can, we can do this. That was really good. Level three. Going for those edges first, just get them out of the way. Level four. Cats. Oh, just bad spawning. <laughs> bad spawning. Level four. Yeah, the risky edges. See, then the deaths just take so long to, like, get out of. You can't skip these text boxes, you're just stuck. Ah, oh, shit. Do sharks taste or smell blood or both? Uh, I would assume both. <laughs> I don't know. Do sharks have a, t a sense of taste? I would assume. I think in Finding Nemo wasn't the smell that did it. Not that I'm using Finding Nemo as a <laughs> a bar for science, but you know what I mean. Level one. Man, what a shit first spawn. Yeah, sorry. If this ends up being this reset heavy for much longer, I'll move on. And Jaws as well. Sides are a pain in the ass. Yeah, any game where enemies spawn from the sides and then they force you, they force you to go right up next to them. It's pretty rough. 
Level one. Like, look at the cheese there. No, damn it. Shoot, if I had just gone straight to the left on that, I would have been fine. It's Genesis D-pad, not always the most precise. Stay away from the bottom corners, specifically in Jaws. Okay. Come on. Level one. Okay. Good start. Level Good start. <laughs> Please, game. Level two. Level that was solid. Had to switch your knockoff control halfway through. Three. Hand was cramping up with it. Okay, Level that could have been slightly faster, probably, but that was pretty good. Level four. Some slightly tighter movement. Dang, miss! Ah, oh, god, that was almost a really clean run. Level four. Jeez, these deaths. The deaths are a killer. Because they take so long to get out of, and then it's like it respawns, the cheese gets thrown wherever. What are the odds on that? What are the odds on that? <laughs> I'll give myself till one. If we don't get anywhere, I'll move on. Uh, maybe I'll do some ninja. Or we'll see, maybe I'll just call it. Six hours is a pretty healthy stream. Alright. Level one. There's one way off in the corner there. That did not feel all that fast, but I'll take it. I've got something so ergonomic. Look ergonomic, yet be uncomfortable. This was like a knockoff Genesis 6 button. I Like I said uh, the other night, I don't find the Genesis 6 button all that comfortable. I really don't. Level three. It's an okay control. Obviously, you know, for fighting games, it's it's probably the one to use, but I'm just not a... Oh, the three button. People are hating on the three button. I like the three button a lot. It's what I'm using right now. I actually really like this controller. I can, I can sort of see not being a fan of it, but... I don't know. I enjoy it. I will say, the way your... The way your ring finger sits show you the standard Genesis 3 button. Let's say the way the ring finger kind of sits underneath here does get like a little sore after a while, but I mean, I've been playing for almost six hours. I'm just like now starting to feel it a little bit. I think it's a decently comfortable control. I mean, it is hard plastic though, so. Got Nintendo hands. I was gonna say the NES has got the hardest edges. It's just a box. Level two. Definitely not the most ergonomic controller either. Level complete. Level three. Oh, I almost got hit there. <laughs> Look at that cat, dude. Prefer the six over the three. I guess I'm just solo on this. I'll, I'll accept defeat. Level complete. Something about the NES that makes it not too... It's not. It should be worse if when you look at it. Right? You, you'd think like, oh man, this is just going to be terrible. It's actually not bad. Somehow, they made it work. Fortunately, got a death there. Although if I only die once, this could be a PB. Level six. Oh shit! <laughs> I don't know how I didn't get that one. Well, that wasted some time. Clearly. That was pretty good. Come on, we got two more levels. Level eight. No, cat. Cat, why? That probably ruined my chance. 
Some real six months? I'm pretty sure I have an official one. I still don't really like it. I'm, I'm kind of jealous of those that actually do prefer the six. Emotionally kills you, Aarok. <laughs> yeah, the three, the three button is kind of the iconic one. Which is kind of, I don't know, I don't think that factored into me liking it more, but it may have, subconsciously. I think it, I honestly just think it feels better in the hand. I really do. And I don't have big hands, but I find the six button to be really small. I'm shocked we got that without getting hit. Level two. A little slow on that one. Fortunately, the cat spawned on those cheeses. Level three. Level complete. Think you could swap the innards of your knockoff buttons? Level four. Oh, do you mean the outers? Of the knockoff with the innards of the official. Right. Shoot, I like we get really solid starts and then they get killed. These damn cats, dude. It's gonna feel so good when I get a no death run. I'm pretty sure with a no death run I can take fourth. Fairly certain. I'm like, I'm not even aiming for first, because that's, that's going to be quite the task. Level complete. How we get to NES controllers? Oh, cannibalizes the outers of the classics? That seems like somewhat sacrilege, though, because, like... The classics are still official Nintendo, right? Level complete. Level three. But hey, whatever works. Level complete. Level four. Yeah, it's hard to get. The rubber membranes. Oh, come on, cat. Wasting my time, cats. But we didn't die, so I guess I should count my blessings here. Level five. Oh, that was good. That was good. Level six. No, damn it. Dude, I thought I was holding left. I don't know. Yeah, the Genesis D pad is not the best. I'm going to have to knock the Genesis slightly for the D pad. I probably killed my chances getting Level top four. I have to imagine. Level complete. Yeah, we're already a minute 40. We got two levels. Level Shit. Eight. It's gonna feel so satisfying when I actually get this, though. I don't know, maybe, maybe this one is worn out. Maybe that's why the D-pad is a little off. This game does require a decent bit of precision. Level one. Especially if cat spawning's a little rough. <laughs> like that. I probably, if I was really good, could have squeezed through there, but man. It's asking for a lot from me. The title Action 52 was licensed, but the games were not. So they licensed out the title? And I don't, I, I mean, I, I don't see why the games would be licensed. I don't know anybody that would have licensed Level these games. One. Even if I like them, they, I'm sure they weren't money makers. Level complete. Can't buy cheap Level. NES controllers in bulk. Yeah, good, good working ones out of them. Mansta refurbished. Level. Yeah, the rubber membranes, I mean, they're just bound to wear out. Okay, that was decently good. Level 
Dang it. A little slow on that. I had to wait for a cat. Level five. That was really good. Solid level five. Level six. Overall, pretty good considering the spawn. And <laughs> like the, all the cats in the middle of the screen. Level seven. Absurd. Level oh, this is good, guys. This is good. Level eight. Doing well. Ooh, come on. This this last one's gonna decide whether or not I'm top four. No! Dude, come on. Unfair. Okay, well, that's another PB by about a second and a half. <laughs> Damn it. These deaths. Virtual racing. Recognize the six button and the three button controllers. Wait, what? Oh. Weird. I did not know that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a PB. It's still not where I want to be. I'm still last by like a second. I'm still last place by one second. That Had I not gotten that death, we would have had above last. Shit. Man, that was a good run, though. Good run just was working with some nonsense. Yeah, you should. I, I've actually been curious to see virtual racing in action. Come on, cats. I was a little slow. We had to wait like a couple seconds there. Cat RNG. Overall, pretty good. Level four. That cat almost got me. Holy moly. No, I thought it was around him. I'm, unfortunately, at this point, I'm probably going to reset on deaths. Because what? That last one, we had one death. One death. If I can get a no death, we'd, we'd be looking all okay. Damn, there's a couple, like three of the run, three of the seven runs are in the last year. <laughs> it's like around the same time too. Clearly somebody else's community was getting into this for a little bit. That was pretty good. Mmm, cat. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, the random luck. Gotta love it. And, like, obviously there's a little bit of skill involved in kind of point-blank decision-making. But, man, you can only do so much of that. Oh, I thought he was away enough. What a bummer. That would have been an okay start to the run. I was just like a tad too early. I was getting greedy. Yeah, the fact it's nine stages. And there's RNG to worry about on all of them. Alright, here we go. Level one. Oh, wow. Wasted Level wasted like two seconds. <laughs> for getting that cheese up there. Level two. Come on, game. Level complete. Level Sixteen three. Canadians, pretty cheap. For just about anything, honestly. Oh, come on. Level complete. 
a couple sloppy cheese misses. I'm gonna be bummed if this is like a decent PB. Considering the stuff I've missed. Oh, never mind. All the cats are in the middle. <laughs> what was that? See, like, there's nothing you can do when that shit happens, really. You're just like, okay, I guess RNG's screwing me right now. Ah. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I won't try this too much longer. Because it's, it, I can already tell it's going to be, going to be a little painful. I don't necessarily mind resetting a lot, but I know it's not the most exciting thing to watch. Again, if I could just get top four, which I know is doable, I'm only like seven seconds off. And that seven seconds is literally just me taking a death in a lot of these cases. <laughs> That reset button, that emote, is coming in handy. Like, look at this. What, what do I do here? Like, dude, what? Like, there's nothing. There's nothing you can do in a situation like that. The game is just killing the run for you. It's deciding you're done. All right, let's freaking go. I can feel a good run coming on. Fantastic level one. Level two. Three. Three of them. Dude, one after the other. Figured out that legend at the first screen is describing all the colors from the names. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I pointed that out a little bit earlier. Yeah, it took me a while to notice what the hell that was, too. Yeah, apparently these are split into difficulty level, although I think the difficulty very wildly. I don't think it really lines up with what they're saying, but... I don't know, maybe there's some truth to it. A little slow there. Dodging that one cat in the middle of the screen. Level two. That was good. Got a little close to that cat. I got a little worried we were going to take a death. Wow. Okay, that was good considering the RNG. Level four. Come on, game. Let me move. Good so far. Needs an option in the Everdrive to reset the last game. I mean, it, it keeps your spot on the menu, but yeah, you do have to like restart the game. You have to, you still have to select it from the menu, and fortunately, at least it keeps your spot in the menu. Okay, I took it a little slow there just to make sure we didn't die. Okay, this could be good. Oh man, we could get, we could get top, top four here. Dude, come on! We were there. We were there. Son of a bitch. That was so good up until the very end. Oh, and I still don't get it. <laughs> oh, this is brutal. Am I playing every single game? We already did, Rata. I'm just, I'm speedrunning this one now. Yeah, we, we sampled everyone. We beat a handful of them, but definitely not all of them. There's no way. Too many of the games are a little too similar for me to want to beat them all. A lot of space shooters and crap like that. This one has been fun, though. 
trying to get a run here that's decent. But it's been a little bit of a challenge. Level complete. But yeah, I'll probably try and speedrun this one. If we have some time, maybe I'll I'll try a different one. Speedrun a different one, but oh man. Almost had that. Hundred percent action fifty two. I don't do they have a category for the fifty two challenge? They should. You'd have to beat every you beat level nine of every game. Action fifty two speedrunner in the making. It's funny, I chose the game that has the most runners out of every game here. Yeah, because they have the challenge mode. They should have the fifty two challenge as a as a speedrun. It'd be a crazy run. One. Probably a frustrating run, but it would be cool to see. Level complete. I think last time I got about a nine there. Level we were at ten. Two. Lost a second or two to that cat. That was really level good though. Complete. Phenomenal level two. Level three. What's the 52 shot? Yeah, it's the it's the highest it's the highest level. It's the last level of every game back to back. Oh shit! Come on. A rift between the Nintendo and Genesis players in the A52 community, as it's known for short. There is yeah, there is boards for the NES version too, but they're they're completely separate. They're treated as different. I don't know, is this in the... Yeah, it's, there's no, like, Action 52 series, so they're, from what I can tell, entirely separate. I don't even know, do the mods share at all? It would be kind of curious. Only the last level, I mean, it's still 52. And some of the, some of the levels are long. Like, they're no joke. Yeah, the mods are entirely different for the Genesis and NES versions. Everything you're joking about when it comes to this game is true. Yeah, right. There's already a rift. Literally a rift. They're entirely separate. It's the Nintendo versus Sega camp, right? That's what it is. Oh yeah, yeah. If having to play all 52 games all the way through would be rough. Super time consuming. Okay, that was pretty good. Still arguing using the same retorts from 20 years ago. But blast processing. That was really good as well. Okay. Solid start here. Could have been a little faster, but trying to stay somewhat Level safe so we just reset less. No! Oh my god. Should have gone toward the middle there. Fucking hell. So sick of dying in this. Sorry, 30 years. Yeah, it's probably closer to 30 at this point, right? 89, 90. Alright, well, we'll see where this ends up. I think that death probably stopped us from getting top four, but... Oh, man. Two more levels. I don't know. We're actually kind of close. Level eight. I say that until I forget about the freaking screen that pops up every time. Yeah, we died again. Shoot. We're so close. Like, I, I can taste... I can taste a placement here. I can taste a juicy PB. It's so close. Should go for the all 52 games 100% run. <laughs> Yeah, except, man, it's the problem. I couldn't even do the slider puzzles. What do I do when we hit the slider puzzles? Give up? 
Level one. <laughs> Stall for time. Level Just gotta practice it. I don't think I'm that determined. Level two. Listen, I might be an Action 52 apologist, but that might be taking it too far. <laughs> I know, but there, there's other games that would still, you know, I'd struggle with. Rata with the hydrate after this run. No, I got too close to the cat. Well, that's that one. Shoot. That was that was me on that one. Some of it's RNG sometimes. In that case, that was I could have avoided that. What was with the rip steakhouse? Rip run. I actually do have I do have a leftover burrito. Good stuff. I'm sure I could figure it out. It's a question of me wanting to figure it out. <laughs> Rewards are so expensive. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't had anybody redeem some of the more expensive ones in a while. The problem is I just know some people have a shitload of points. So it's hard to it's hard to balance some of those things because people have been watching. Some people have been watching literally for years at this point. And they always complain about me not having rewards and I add rewards and they don't use them. And <laughs> One million is worth saving for Crash. Well, you'll see what I do with Crash if you get it. There you go, Mansta. I gotta say I won't do this for much longer than, of course, I managed to spend ages on this. I just like, I know full well I could get a good run here. That's the, that's the speed running curse. You just waste so much time. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's not wasting time if I'm having fun, but man. Level one. Level complete. Especially when you're dealing with like an RNG two. based game. It's like sometimes you really just feel like you're resetting for that proper spawning. Level three. No, man. Level three. For the work, I try. I try. Yeah, I think I think people have gotten used to coupons, though. Which I mean, it is what it is. But it's almost like Streamloots has been giving out coupons so much that when they don't. You know, I mean, obviously people want to wait for the coupons. I don't blame them, but. It's like, all right, stream loots, come on, let's go. All right, here we go. Level one. Please. <laughs> come on. I, I should not have died there. Taught you to be coupon dependent? Yeah. So it's like, it's a double-edged sword, because, I mean... Obviously, you make, you know, a decent amount of sales when there are the coupons, but then it's like when there's not. It's a bit of a drought. What emulator is this? This is on. This is on my Genesis. I'm, I'm using a, a Mega EverDrive, but this is on a real Sega CDX. Level one. Real controller. The works. Okay, that was decent. Level two. Level wow, okay. Complete. And the mouse is so fast, like... Level man, hitting those cats is easy. It's easy to do. What a lovely spawn. One cat. No problem. Level four. Level complete. Can't, can't, can't claim real controller if you're using a Naga. Yeah, Five. technically speaking, that might be a, a little tough of a sell. Ooh, that was great. Complete. 
fantastic. Level six. I, I think most people aren't gonna care, though, honestly. <laughs> Fucking cats! God, that took so much time. That took so much time away from that level. That was like a good three to five seconds right there. But we haven't died. Which I guess is the most important. Where are we at? 130? <sighs> Come on. Do they just need to get out of the way? Oh my god. God, that was going to be an okay run. Shoot. <sighs> don't hit me. Well, that's the thing, though. Is even with real controllers, like, I don't know. Maybe this D-pad might be loose just from wear and age. Like, it's very possible. Not that I'm claiming it's the controller's fault that I'm dying here, but... Because it's most definitely mine, but... Who knows, it might have a, something to do with it. Even if just a small part. Oh, come on. That was just unfortunate. Okay, I do have to cut myself off. I, I can't be at this all night. I mean, my damn speedrunning addiction, it's bad. And all for like a fourth place. Level one. It'd be the hardest I work for a fourth place in a while. Level I was a little slower than normal. Level Used to be in that speedrunning life, you stopped. I don't necessarily blame you for getting out of it, because it is very time consuming. Or it can be. It really depends on your goals, but I think for a lot of people it's pretty time consuming. Wow, I almost hit that cat. That was so close. Level four. Oh! God, that was shaping up to be a solid. Level four. Shit. Yeah. Too much resetting. Got bored of the game. New tricks made it not fun. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. That happened with me on uh, Motor Tune. I mean, God bless Dio, but... Yeah, no, the way that run has gotten... I just had to stop, because I was, like, beating myself up over it. Shoot. Yeah, when Dio found the triple lap skip on the first... On the first race, because it saved, like, 20 or 30 seconds. Um, and I had gotten that time so down before that strat was found. Like, I'm not gonna say I had a perfect run, obviously no run's perfect, but it was a damn good run. And it would have been really hard to improve, um, until he found that strat. And then it's like, okay, well my run's obsolete. <laughs> and I worked hard on that run. And it's just, I can't, like, it's to the point where I'm, I'm out of practice enough where I can't replicate a lot of it. I mean, I'm still decent at the game, but I'm not at the point that I was when I was, like, grinding it out late last year, early this year. Try and casually finish games that you like that aren't on speedrun.com. Hope somebody gets in and gets excited. Right. Yeah, and I don't, I don't necessarily need records. Like, that's not... I mean, it's a nice bonus. But... Again, when it takes so long to, like, you know, you at least want to feel like you're making progress. And then when it you get to a point where things are so optimized and it's just going to take so much time to get to that next level up. It's like, at a certain point, you do have to say, like, I can't do this anymore. Oh, RNG minute, Brada? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's no fun. Level one. Mr. I've got the snood shakes. I mean, I legit like that game. And it's it's still... Snood is still not to the point where it's, like, painful to get a PB slash... You know, higher placement. Level complete. Level three. 
God, that was some sketch playing, but it worked. Used to be on movement, right. Right, and then as a run kind of evolves, a lot of times the emphasis changes. Parts of the games become much more important than others. Yeah, that's always kind of a bummer. Well, and that's the thing with Motor Tunes. It used to be our really good racing, and it still is, but so much more of it now is RNG-based, and it's... It's like it's no longer as fun to run as it was. It's just too, too difficult. Although I'm kind of pot call calling the kettle black right now. This is pretty RNG heavy. But I also haven't been doing it for that long. <laughs> I think the last, the last motor tune run I did, or the last like attempt stream I did, like I did a full stream and I'm not even sure I PB'd. I'm not even sure I PB'd. It's pretty bad. Like I'm used, I'm used to if I if I do a whole run of attempts, I'm used to being able to at least get something done in a night. Especially if I dedicate a full five hours to it. Yo, Laz, thank you for the ten gifted packs, dude. Very kind of you. Claim them, guys. Now's your chance. I know it's late. There's a bunch of lurkers. I'm sure anybody that's here right now is paying attention could probably grab one. I don't know if I still want to do that after that death. Uh. What I said I was going to cut myself off at? 1.30. <laughs> we got eight minutes. We got eight minutes. And I did add some new cards, so anybody that's like already got cards and you're like, eh, I don't really, don't really care for them. I don't know, you might like, I've added 10 new cards in the last week. Last, really like last three days. So, if there wasn't something you liked before, there might be one now. Just heads up. I've had a lot of fun making them. I think we've got some, we've got a cool set of cards, I think, at this point. Okay. Level Took me a little bit of time there. I'm trying to avoid that cat. Level three. Get over there. Level that was solid. Yeah, it seems like each stage is about Level ten seconds. Four. Approximately. Ah, oh, shit. Dang it, game. Four. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Unless we die a second time. I'll take a one death run at this point. I should I should accept a one death run. That's what our PB is. We could still improve. It's not end of the world that we died. Bummer, yes. End of the world, no. Yeah, two deaths I have to reset, unfortunately. But I mean, like, I, I really do think... You know, speedrun, I mean, for example, like this mousetrap game, I probably would not be playing this as much if I wasn't running it. I think speedrunning does help you really gain an appreciation for games that otherwise would be like really quick to beat, right? Because you can beat this in like six minutes. And you could argue like, oh, one and done it. But I don't know, there's something satisfying about speedrunning and addictive, admittedly. I legit have to cut myself off <laughs> sometimes. Routing. I've never really like sat down and done hardcore routing for a game. That does seem like it would be satisfying though. A lot of my runs end up being just like spur of the moment. And usually the games are just like, okay, you just have to play well, you know? Not a whole lot of routing. I don't, obviously don't play a lot of RPGs. But I could definitely see that being satisfying. Level five. Especially if you find certain things that end up becoming like mainstays in a run. Level I mean, I found like a couple little things with Motor Tune, which was satisfying. No, nowhere near what some of the other people found, right? Dio found a ton of stuff, but Level six. yeah, and you get so much more replayability out of games that otherwise would be like super quick, quick. 
not, you know, not very easy to read. Well, maybe not easy to revisit, but that you wouldn't have a reason to revisit, right? Otherwise, I mean, I've played way more Road Rash because I was doing speed runs of it for a while. Motor Tune, obviously. Oh, well, yeah, RPGs, right? Yeah, once you beat an RPG once, you're kind of done with it. Yeah, that's probably even a more extreme example. Of like, yeah, usually when you finish an RPG once, you're on to the next one. Whereas speedrunning it gives it new life. Yeah, that's fair. I hadn't even considered that. I'm really bad about even even short games. I often don't revisit very much. I've, I've tried to get better about it. Like the games I really like. Like we did that PS1 night the other week. With like Sled Storm and just some games that I own that I really love because I end up be like usually kind of wanting and dunning everything. Level it's nice to kind of go back to a game I really like Level and just like sit with it, play with something that I know what to expect. Shoot. Level Writing is stressful. I imagine it can, especially when you go to actually run it with the route. And you're like, well, let's see if my work paid off or not. Slalom. Yeah, not Salmon. There is no game called Salmon in this. Although I kind of wish there was. Level complete. So we did die once here. I don't know how we're going to do. Level six. Probably not great. Yeah, that's another death. All right. Couple more attempts. We're done. I might have to stick with my 156. I was hoping it at least not be last. Right? I, I prefer to get... If I'm gonna try... And the thing is, this this board has seven runs. So, like... I figure I can at least manage not last, but... We'll see. <laughs> yeah, Salmon sounds like it could be an interesting Action 52 game. Level one. Slalom was literally just a ripoff of the NES game. Salmon could have been who knows. Something different. Okay, that was pretty good. Movement optimization. Yeah, that can be satisfying. I mean, it's kind of like in... Oh, fucking cat. What are the odds? Apparently, they're pretty high because I keep getting hit. But yeah, that's that's what I like about racing games before they get all RNG crazy and all these crazy skips and stuff is it's just like it's down to racing as well as you possibly can. I don't know. There's something satisfying to me about that. Level one. Okay, that was pretty good. Complete. Level two. Oh, cats. Look at this. <laughs> Thanks for wasting my time, game. Damn. So many. It's the unfortunate reality of mousetrap speedrunning. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, maybe if I stay away from the screen until I see the cats. But, like, I don't think there's any guarantee that if I wait... I don't know if there's any guarantee that if I wait, like, there won't be one that comes immediately after the first. You know what I mean? I mean, it's probably unlikely, but... I'm not sure how much that's gonna help. I can try it. Might as well try something here. Uh, what game, Jeremy? Odell Down Under? What's that? Again, I just like, I feel, I, I feel I can do this. I'm fairly certain we got this in us. I was a little slower than normal. A couple seconds. Ah, we tapped him. Tapped him. All right, it is one thirty. I should I should call it here. After this one. Fortunately, I don't think I'll get much better here. Unless we just get crazy lucky.
There we go. Even if I die once, we'll just roll it. Hell, even if we die a couple times, I'll probably still roll it. Just see what we get. Old Mac and PC game? Evolving Fish. Actually, it does sound interesting. Right, the sprite's already on screen. Yeah, I, I did think about that. It is possible. Okay, that was good. That was very good. Good run so far. No! Oh my, that was sloppy movement. I had no reason to die there. All right, we're gonna roll with it. No reason to die there. That was just dumb. That was me playing bad. Fuck. Okay, that one was not my fault. <laughs> Level. Shit, I want to keep going. Ah. Uh, as we all know, one more for me is a lie. I just felt it's doing good there. We made some significant progress. I do need to quit this soon, though. Like I said, it's an addiction. It's bad. Level one. Speed running, don't do it, kids. It'll ruin your life. <laughs> Level one. Shit. All right, true last one. I I gotta call it. I gotta call it. it gotta be done. I have to. I have to put my own foot down. Keep going. Y'all are bad influences. You'll just keep watching. No, this is legit the last one. I have to stop. I just have to. Level one. I can't keep going all night. Level complete. Okay, that was decent first level. Level two. Cat almost got me. Two cats. Are you kidding me? Yeah. All right. I don't have it in me tonight. This is a way harder run than I expected. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I gotta call it, guys. We did get a lot done tonight regardless. We beat a handful of the games on here. I think that's pretty good. Um, we sampled all of them. Just about to follow me, Boomstick. I mean, I'll probably play more of this game. I just, like, at a, at a certain point, I do have to go to bed. <laughs> I can't stream all hours of the day. Well, thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for being here. I don't know. I think tonight's stream was proof that you can have fun with Action 52. I think that's the takeaway. Honestly. Played it for almost seven hours straight and had fun with it. So, if that's not an endorsement, I don't know what it is. I'm not saying it's a good game. I'm not saying it's a good game. I'm not saying it's worth the $200 it launched for, but I had fun with it. And I think it's worth a look if you're willing to play some some mediocre rehashes of games to find the, the diamonds in the rough. But have a great night, everybody. We're going to raid somebody. I think we'll raid Dennis. My bed will be there in the next hour. I mean, I don't have to get up. It's just I can't be streaming for nine hours every night. I, I know I'll go all night if I don't cut myself off somewhere. We're, we're, we're always going to be like, oh, man, I'm so close. We got this. We got this. We got this. We'll be okay. I'll come back to... I'll revisit. I'll revisit the Action 52 at some point. <laughs> Boom, followed me. Yeah, sorry. I don't have... I don't have a... Uh, follow alerts on Level. boom is right though they did follow all memes aside all jokes aside all right that's right dennis he's gonna he's been going for five hours hopefully he's not about ready to wrap up uh let me actually double check i think he's good i think he's still going it'll be hard but you'll forgive me <laughs> That's all I ask. All I ask is for forgiveness. No, he, he just hit continue on his game. He's playing Intelligent Cube. So we're gonna raid Dennis. Operation Parlov. He's a good dude. Does a lot of a lot of variety. Um, all consoles, all generations. He does some modern stuff. In addition to playing a lot of a lot of PS1, OG Xbox, PS2 kind of era stuff, like me. 
Good streamer. Action 52 is the only reason you're here. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I think it made for a great stream. I honestly feel like tonight's stream was excellent. Um, and I think I think I proved at the very least that there's fun to be had in this game. Don't believe everything you read online and take it as fact. That would be that would be my takeaway. But have a good night, everybody. Thanks for being here. Hopefully I'll see y'all tonight for something else. See ya.